Hey, hey, everybody. It, this is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. I am Noel. Farm Girl Scavenger is my brand, my persona, whatever. Um, it is me. Um, thanks for for showing up when you do. And I just wanted to let everybody know that if this is your first time here, my name is Noel. Obviously, I buy and sell items at mostly at estate sales anymore, and um, some garage sales. I used to do a lot of thrift store shopping. I haven't been in a thrift store in months. Um. Anyway, so mostly at estate sales, and then I do try to do a weekly haul video every Sunday night at. 9 p.m. my time pacific daylight time it is right now some people are still using standard but pacific daylight time i am in southwest washington just 16 miles across the border from portland oregon so i have the best of both worlds i get to shop both both states anyway so tonight um at some point in time, Greg, Rocky Mountain Resale, is going to join us. And he went to an auction. I think it was day before yesterday. It could have been yesterday. I'm telling you, I spent too much time out in the heat. I have been mowing the last three days. I spent two hours at my mom's cleaning up her driveway. Couldn't even see her six-foot fence. And then I spent the rest of... Friday at my aunt's house and got one quarter of it done. Yesterday, we sp I spent three more hours there just mowing and then about three hours going through her garage, one small section of it. And I came home with a lot of cool treasures for free. Um, we also, my granddaughter, Emily and I, is there three people here? Okay. I was just figuring I'm I'm jabbering on like normal. What else is new? Who knows? Hello all and thanks for coming. Um anyway, Emily and I went to a couple of estate sales. One over in Lake Oswego. Hey Mike, how are you? Hola. I'm uh not top on the energy today because I actually spent five hours mowing and I'm wiped out. It was hot today. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know how hot, so don't ask. Hi, Gina. How are you? Anyway. And Greg got pallets of stuff. I don't know where he is. I'm freaking fantastic, but you're getting better. Woo, woo. Hey, Lissa, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Sandy, how are you? That's all right. Go get your rest. Everybody needs to be refreshed, refreshed for the week. Um, for sure. I got a box of wine <laughs> out of my aunt. <laughs> it was from my, who knows? Some of it's dated. We could start with that. Let's just start with that. I'm not reselling it, obviously, but it's still, it's still, let's see. I got my, got my phone going on here. Um, Turtle Trader, how are you? How are you? How are you? So. <laughs> we got us some um, three blind moose Merlot. From California, 2011. I don't drink wine. I may start now. Um, Sons of Italy, June 2011, Sutter Home, Cabernet Sauvignon, California, 2009. Don't you love people that date stuff? This was all my grandfather's. He passed away last year, mind you. Um, some Pignon Grigo. Because uh, I took two years of French in high school, but I graduated in 85. 2011. Stuff is vintage almost. Not really. 
You won't believe what I got. What did you get? What did you get? What did you get, Mike? Went in the morning and the line was so long, I just said screw it, but went back at four. Yes, sir. Charles Shaw Merlot. Okay, that's all the wine. Anybody remember these? Too bad you can't sell it. Bartles and James Margarita. I might actually drink. I should go put that in the fridge. Um, Strongbow Hard Apple Cider. Two of those. I'm telling you, you guys. Oh, here we go. Half a bottle of Bacardi Gold Puerto Rican Rum. Too bad alcohol makes me sick. Sun Devil Alcohol Lemon Drink. I have no idea. This has been in the garage for a while. I have my garage door open, so let me know if it's too loud and I'll shut it. Basically, what you hear is the roar and then Red's Apple Ale. So there you go. There's my box of booze. Who did I miss? All right. Hand over the Bacardi and Bartles and James and nobody will get hurt. Uh, go back here to Mike. You went. Okay, what did you get, Mike? Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Gina didn't have air conditioning. Oh, I don't have air conditioning and I don't have heat. Fucking cold in the winter time. I shouldn't say I don't have heat. I have a fireplace that I can't use, and I have a wood stove that I can't use because I have issues with fire, and it caught the chimney on fire twice. So we haven't had heat in our house for two years now. There you go. That's what happens when you catch on fire and you spend five weeks in the burn center. So that's it. You got five pieces of Magnolite cookware, some Elko French bread, Echo French bread pans, and Royal Dalton pitcher. Oh, woo! The Magnolite cookware is is money, 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 money. You're glad the rain came. Who got rain? And who got rain? Hey, Joe, how are you? I hope you got. I hope you're doing good too. Kansas is a lot like LA. It's really hot and dry, humid. Yeah, that's what I thought, Gina. That's uh, or, or what I've heard as well. So, a little news. I know I don't always talk about this. Actually, I don't know that I talk about it very much at all. I very seldom ask you guys to subscribe because if you're here, you're subscribed, right? I very don't even never ask for anybody to share my channel. Um, I'm at, did, went out and did a rain dance. Yow, yow. I'm at 840 some subscribers. But I'm over my watch hours. So I have like, like close to 4,000, 4,100 watch hours. So there you go. It Sometime in the next year. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I might get monetized. We'll see. But I just thought I would tell you guys that I appreciate everybody that has watched and supported me in any way, shape, or form. Carter's not here because he has to get up early, but he sent me three coffees on my buy me a coffee link earlier yesterday, I think it was, with a really nice, sorry. Thought somebody was driving in the driveway. I was going to have to get a, a stick and go out and break their knees or something. <laughs> um, sound as bad as me with house issues. I wear, like, honestly, five layers of flannel in the winter. I can't wear that many clothes or I wouldn't be able to move. Been trying while I unsub. Thanks, Mike. That's the best. I love you guys. You all have great senses of humor. You're all awesome people. And I appreciate every single one of you. So I just thought I'd give you a little update on the mess that is me. Because, you know, sometimes I think that's all you're here for is just to see the mess. You are a very helpful kind of guy, Mike. Did you get your package yet? Probably not. 
think I set it up Friday. Did it go Friday or Saturday? Fr wow. I've been literally, if you guys could see, this is sad. Um, I've only been home for like an hour, but can you see how, how where the tan line is? We'll put that back down there because that's a lovely sight that nobody wants to see right now. <laughs> I can hardly wait to go take a shower. It's Sunday today. Yes. And I think I sent it out on Thursday because you bought something on the Wednesday Night Live site. So you probably get it tomorrow. It's a bigger box than expected because I put your other stuff in there too. Your presents. From one nerd. From one mother of nerds to a nerd child. That would be you, Mike. <laughs> Because your mother's the mother of a nerd. Oh, that's hilarious. I appreciate you guys, too. Very much so. Um, anyway, I don't know where the heck Greg is. I'm going to have to give him a, a, a ringy dingy here. Uh-oh. What did you say, Gina? Oh, never mind. Wow. I don't know where Maria is, but if she was here, she would tell you that I need help. <laughs> All right, let's see where the heck Greg is. Hello. He may or may not come in. It was his idea to do the little, a little, maybe a little pop up auction. So we'll see. Your mother is Queen Gloria, mother of the King of Nerds. Well, <laughs> I'll let her have that. I will let her have that title. And she should be very proud of it. Hey, Robert, how are you? I got Robert, you guys. Robert sent me two picture albums, photo albums. I don't know where you, where did you get those at, Robert? Um, I'm not a father, Lisa. I'm just a mother. But thank you so, so much. Um, I know some kids have a mother. Some kids have a father. Some kids have two mothers, two fathers. Some kids have just one parent, period. But they're still only a mother or a father in my mind. You can't replace a mother and you can't replace a father. You can do the jobs of both. Um, Greg says he's going to be late. Do we think we already know that? Just go ahead and start showing your haul and he'll jump in. I think he's going to be mad at me for reading this to you guys. Oh, <laughs> apparently he sent me a message that told me he was going to be late. And then he had, <laughs> I told you guys I was having that a day. It's five hours out in the heat. You couldn't let them go to the dump. I'm glad you got them at the bins. Wow. These, these two, um, I went through all of them and I pulled the pay, pulled them off the, they're in like the 1980s uh, photo albums where they have the piece of, of plastic on it and then they have the little sticky underneath. So, which was nice because they weren't, they aren't like glued to it. And some of them actually had dates and names of people, and both the, both of them went together. Some of the ones that were in one album went with ones of the other. But it, there's this guy was in the military, the Air Force. He was stationed in France, and there is a lot of really cool pictures. I need to get busy on on those here soon. Greg is going to have to talk with HR about his tardiness <laughs> issues. Um, you can be HR. You can be HR. Annie, how are you? Did you guys have a good time? You sure? Annie and her husband husband went to the Dodgers game, and it looked like you were having just a blast. Those magnetic albums are a nightmare to get my old. Well, these ones came right off, so I was lucky. Um. Anyway, I, I'm being pressured to start my haul. Um, I got something that I'm going to take really good pictures of. I may actually scan the pictures. 
I'm going to put them on my Instagram as a regular post for anybody who wants a copy of this. My aunt found it. Um, she gave it to me today. This is a, it's like a, um, just a flyer of items that came with something that they ordered. Her mom saved every piece of paper. They're crystal art glass handcrafted by Bernard Boyd, Cambridge, Ohio. And um, it's really cool because it actually has, Lisa, you'll appreciate, a lot of you guys will appreciate this, but it actually has names of things and slag glass, but check this out. Hens on nest, lamb on nest, turkey on nest, boots, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to share this with you guys as best I can. Where's the jewelry? I found it. That's one of the, that's not my top thing to show. Sorry. <laughs> it's pearls. There's some pearls and there's some Mexican silver. And anyway, so I will, I will put pictures of this for anybody who wants to, to screenshot it and save it. Cause this kind of stuff, you don't, this, this is the kind of stuff that you don't, you'll never find. This is not in a book. This is not in a book anywhere. This is so anyway, this was a really, a really cool score. I need to turn some more lights on and probably shut the garage door here shortly. Okay. This is all stuff that we found this yesterday. So my aunt's house is not as bad as Janet's mother, Karen's house. We got them home and didn't know where to start. I really appreciate it, Robert. They are super cool. Um, they moved my aunt and her sister and her mom and her stepdad, who I call my grandfather, Emperor. You'll hear me, hear me talk about Emperor. He passed away last year. They're not related to me by blood, they're, but they're my family. She only has one relative left, really, and it's her nephew. And he and she he doesn't live that far away, but he's busy with life. Um, I I like to share it. if it's something like that that I can share. And there's a lot of people wanting to learn about glass. There's a lot of people that will never find this. They'll never find this. I need to anyway. I'll share it also on my Pinterest page. Um, and that'll be out there for everybody to, to get a hold of too. Um, so this is so cool. This is where they lived. Stanislaus, California. That's actually where they live. So it's a little suburb and the log cabin trading post, Modesto yard. Look at the telephone number. Five. Season's greetings with the wish that whatever you want most. I, I love this. There's a little sign that the mama bear's looking at. It says, make yourself at home. We'll be back later. And then down under her feet, it says, does that mean us? And I don't know. Let's see, right there where it says, does that mean us? But see the little sign she's reading. I love, love, love. I thought it was a calendar. It is not. It is a table of basically how much are you worth? And it has land, livestock, machinery, equipment, liabilities, income tax information. It's really super cool. If you like this kind of stuff, which I do, and you guys know that, it may be, it's got, it may be missing a few pages, not sure. I don't know. I wish it had a date on it. That's the only thing. And there may be something here somewhere. So she gave me that today. She also gave me this, which has to do with farming, North Coast, a variety for, it's a type of corn and the feed salesman carrying it. That's fine. 
that's fine, Greg. Um, anyway, it is the seed salesman would have given this to the uh, farmer. And it's got a little uh, place back here in the back to write. I was trying to see. I thought I saw a date on it, but I don't know. It, and then when and where to plant. This is from, this is a seed thing from Northrop. North Rep King. If you guys ever see this on a hat, you better buy it. A snapback hat. That's where we, that's who we used to get almost all of our seeds, but it's kind of like a little farmer's al almanac kind of thing. This kind of stuff people buy. And she pulled this out. I've never seen anything like this. Means nothing. Barn board patterns by John and Susan Shui fits a 24 by 30 border canvas. It's um basically it's a pattern to put on and paint that delphiniums. 1974. See that right under there, right there. I need to adopt a wonderful kid like you. My grandma was a childness. Who are you adopting? Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. So you guys, I filmed, I stopped at a yard sale on the way over to my aunt's today and I filmed it and it's a hot mess. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put it up as is because you know how I feel about editing. My fingers in some of the shots, you know, my um, GoPro got stolen. My son's trying to find my GoPro 5 that I loaned him so that he can bring it back so I can use that. Speaking of hats, I had a Coca-Cola racing hat that was really niff filthy, so I washed it and some of the red bled onto the cream colored part. How do I get that out? You can try bleaching just the white part and not getting the red part um, wet. Oh, with my aunt. Anyway, I got this brush, shaving brush. Cracks me up. C40, Fryer Ready. Made in the USA. And guess what, you guys? It's sterilized. In case you wanted to know. It's not white, though. It's cream colored. Mike, do you follow um, uh, Chernock or Tim at over the years? They're having a hat camp. Um, Tim... go follow tim at over the years that's his youtube it's also his 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 instagram and chernock um on wednesdays they do a, an all-day listing loafing or listing with with obx picker eric and you can watch that all you want as long as you watch my little show in the in the middle of it yeah tim but that would be a great if you went on on Wednesday when they're on all three of them and ask them what they would do. Chernock is, is your guy who he would be able to tell you exactly what to do. Shout shout die catcher maybe, but I would I would really I would really ask them. There's a lot of things that I would try to do to it, you know, like maybe use a brush or, you know, I don't know whatever but those are those are your guys and chernock is is he's like the master hat dude um you could even i believe it's chernock on on instagram too but you could even message those guys and just tell them that i sent you or maybe don't i'm just teasing but but they will help you they're really super nice people 
and knowledgeable in those areas. So I have a little bit of knowledge in those areas, but I like to uh, like to send people to the right places. Yes, Tank. But he, but that's what everybody calls him, Tank. That's his nickname. But he goes by Chernox Connection, and I believe it's C E R C H E R N O C K S. Something like that. <laughs> if you go to Eric OBX Picker and watch one of his lives, you'll see all of them. And he may have them linked in the description. That may be your fastest way. The listing live, uh, yeah, is on OBX Picker's. No, yeah, Tuesday. Did I say Wednesday? Tuesday, because it's, it's when I have my coffee talk. Wow, I'm really, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, Chernox connection. Yes. Are you guys who isn't Joe? Let's let me fix this. Okay, turtle trader and Joe, I put you guys in as moderators. If either one of you feels the need to find their um, YouTube channels, you could and anybody that wants to drop their Oh, uh oh, Michelle, she's on it. Michelle. For the win, she comes out of nowhere. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> Hi, Michelle, and thank you very much. Oh, heavens. All right. So, you guys, obviously, you know, my car got broken into. Dren's stuff got stolen. My stuff got stolen. My purse got stolen. And that purse was hard to find. And I've had it for a long time. And I'm not a big purse person. And I have a lot of purses. And I don't like them. I'm selling them. The purse I had was a, uh, oh, shit. Now I'm not going to be able to think of the name of it. Eddie Bauer. And I have looked at every Eddie Bauer purse there is known to man online live. And I cannot find one like it. This is a Dakin, which is a good brand. This is almost the exact same size. My purse was like an olive green because I'm weird and I like that color. But um, this is so similar. It's not exactly like it, but it's as close as I could get. So um, I got this for five bucks, you guys. I've replaced my purse. That just makes me mad all over again. I don't usually wear, wear uh, anyway, it's just going to piss me off. But I got a purse for five bucks today. At that estate sale or the garage sale I stopped at. And then I also got this platter, which is really interesting. And I first, when I saw it, I thought, hmm, that looks like it might be from the Netherlands or something. The plate that was sitting on top of it was from Germany and they wanted five bucks for it. And I would have bought it, but it was all, had lots of chips on it. I turned this over and I looked at it and it says California, USA. It is California pottery, basically, and technically, and I got it for $2. So it probably had a dish that sat in there at one point in time. That was not there. I don't care. It'll sell. Even if it only sells for $19, I'll make a good deal. I, I hate it when people say that. Price your stuff high and, and hope and hope for high. Just use the IKEA bag for a purse. <laughs> That's about what I do. I all of my leggings have pockets on the side now, which is I don't know who invented that, but whoop, whoop, whoop. hi Jen, how are you? Yeah, like it, it probably had a dip bowl in there. That would be me, the dip. <laughs> anyway, so um I just put my money in one pocket and my phone in the other pocket and I'm good to go. And then I have my Ikea bags, right? So when I go into an estate sale, I don't like to take anything and there's a purse or a backpack or anything like that. And there's a reason for that. There is a lot of theft at estate sales and there would have been theft yesterday at the one that I went to because the people that owned the property dropped off a bag that had two boxes of jewelry in it. Get where I'm coming from? 
So I saw the bag sitting on the table and I opened the boxes and I was like, nothing's priced. So I took the whole bag and I stuck it in my shopping basket. They had little shopping baskets um, because my Ikea bag was already full. Sorry. And there was a lady there that was like, he had, I don't know if he had a nice Father's Day. I hope he did. I was gone all day mowing. <laughs> it's a never ending property. Um, but I'm pretty sure he did. I only carry a crown royal bag in my waistband with my cash for sales. A, why would you carry a crown royal bag? Don't you have pockets, Lissa? Somebody can swipe that crown royal bag in a hot second. That's what pockets for. Put your money in your money and all of that. Or you could always stuff it in your bra and give them and give them sweaty boob money. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway. When I got up to the register and I handed, I, I knew these people. I didn't know them super well, this estate sale company, because I don't go over to Oregon a lot. But there was something in one of the pictures that I wanted, and I thought it was something that it was. It ended up not being, which was okay. I bought it anyway. I'm going to keep it for myself. I don't think it's really worth a lot of money. I haven't looked it up, but I figured since I drove almost an hour, I'm going to shut my garage door. Actually, no, I'm not. It's, it's still hot. If you guys remember, I sold a vase that looked very similar to this for $400 that I got free. And it was um, red, oh wow, red wing pottery. Oh, I can't remember the specific name, but they only made it for certain years. I saw this in the picture and I didn't see this piece or I would have known it wasn't. Um, anyway, I paid 450 for it. It's, it's from lazy boy furnishings. I don't know. It's made in China, so it's not worth anything, but I like the colors, so I will use it. And I bought it to teach myself a lesson because I wasn't going to go to that estate, any estate sales. I'd take the sweaty, sweaty boob mummy money over sock money any day. <laughs> But in the cabinet right next to that, this is marble. These are cut marble. You see that? $2.50. Six of them. You guys, look up the comps on these. They are crazy. There are no chips at this point in time. So six of them. There's three. Like I said, I don't even know. This one isn't isn't even very polished on the inside. I doubt very much they ever got used. These people lived in a suburb of Portland called Lake Oswego. Lake Oswego is like Hollywood of California. Like if that's that's the place to live. That's the ritzy place. It's right. There's a river there and part of the Willamette River. I don't know. That's the place to be. That's where the rich people live in town. Anyway, Lake Oswego, Portland, Oregon. Lake Oswego, Oregon. Anyway, so got those. Got I got this at the other sale, so I don't want to show that to you yet. Okay, Robert, are you still in here? Zombie bargain hunter, are you still hanging out? They had a bunch of these. They are called Best Ever. They had $2.50 a piece on them. I didn't... Um, some of them aren't going for a lot and some of them are going for more. I just got all of them. They had quite a collection of them. And so there's this one. There's this little guy, cow, I believe. 
I, I comped them. They actually stand up. There's this one. Lamb. I think that she is actually, there's, there's a unicorn. This one isn't it. So there's this, this gal. That light is really annoying. Kitty cat. Giraffe is the one that goes for the most that I saw so far. And the, there's a unicorn one, but they didn't have that one or somebody else got it. And then, oh, this one has a box in it. But clearly, I hate it when they do this. I know Robert does too. Getting things sold. I like those. I have sold a ton of giraffes and lions. This is a reindeer and it has a box in it, but obviously the battery's out and I am not unstitching it to put a new battery in it. Hell to the no. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Four, five, five, six, seven of those. And I think if I lot them all together, what do you think, Robert? Should I lot them all together? It's trying to go to sleep and can you keep it down? Huh. Hi, Tracy. Oh, and guess what you sold today? Some vintage Paco Raban. Perf wow. Wow. Bear, what are you doing out here, buddy? Huh? What are you doing? I guess I should show my dog, huh? Well, it's not my dog. Did he think he's our, our dog? I don't know if I can. What are you doing? Does your dad know you're out here? Did you get permission? I don't know if I can hang on a second. Hey, hey, where are you going? Bear. There he is. Baron. Bear. He's always smiling. That is Justin and Dren's dog, Baron. He is three quarters German Shepherd and a quarter wolf. Now he's wandering through checking the inventory out. <laughs> he's a good dog. <laughs> but tell you what, he barks at everybody. He barks at me. He, he's a barker. He's like, I don't know. What are you doing, buddy? What are you looking for? Huh? Just drive by in? Huh? Hey, you go. Oh. He's the weirdest thing. He does not like. Our tap water in the house is really good water. Did you see my message that I sent you like two months ago that you never got back to me on when I when I left you a message to tell you hi, ask you how you're doing? Just checking. I hate to shut this because it is going to be hot in here. But... It's noisy. And what else is new? All right. We did those. We did this. I don't know that the jewelry is super de duper exciting, but I'll go through it really fast. I got all of this for 30 bucks. Um, that's all right. This is Monet. I paid. She was adding it all up. I have it written down. But it ended up. Every, all this jewelry I'm going to show you. I got for 30 bucks. I believe that this is Monet as well. But I'm not sure. These are. And they are real. Freshwater pearls. They're actually fairly large size. Sorry about the sores on my hand. I'm allergic to something. There's the... I got... Th this gal really likes me because I knew something about something that she wanted to know something about. And um, yeah, this is the bracelet. They're having a huge um, 
jewelry sale next weekend and she is gonna let me come and look at the jewelry first. All right. And I got this cool box that it came in. I do not know what company it goes to, but this box had, there may be something underneath it. I don't know. It tells me it does pop out. No. So this box had a necklace and an, and earrings and bracelet in it probably at one point in time. So I got to keep that. There's a few pieces that I didn't get because they didn't even know that stuff was there. And the gal was very happy that I brought it up there because um, she said somebody would have walked out with it. And, and I said, absolutely, somebody would have walked out with it. Somebody with a big purse or a backpack or whatever. And they didn't even know it was there. The owners had dropped it off the night before with a note in there saying, here, I have some more stuff that I want listed. This one is Monet. This one is Trafari. I think that's right. Yeah, this one's Trafari. This one is some weird, weird name. Uh, I can't remember. I looked at it earlier. This is also Monet. See it right in there. This is Park Lane. It doesn't have, let's see if I can, it doesn't have like a 14 carat or anything like that. So it's probably not, I don't have a metal test, you know, the gold tester. So it says Park Lane right there. Who knows? This has no markings on it whatsoever, but it's really kind of cool. It is. Just a piece of costume jewelry. Um, this is a pearl color. It is, they are fake. These are fake pearls. I did get um, quite a few real pearls. So this is like so. This is, these are fake. They're probably just going to go. And these are fake, which is, and the stuff is coming off, which is really too bad because this is really a pretty, a pretty, um, piece for costume jewelry. That's probably just going to go to Emily if she wants it. If not, it's going to go away. Um, these are fake too, I believe. And, uh, these I think are real. Nope, these are fake. Okay, that's it for the fakey. And this is going to Emily. It's just a little doomahickey thing. Nothing exciting. She was there with me. This is 926 Mexican silver. The clasp was broken on it, so she gave it to me for 25 cents. Oh, might help if I actually had it right side up, huh? Just start a crafter's box. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Tracy. This is going to go in it, too. I don't see any markings on it. Um, actually, Justin could put a new, could fix it, but I think this will do the same thing. It's really kind of pretty. It looks like it would have almost been like a mother's bracelet. It's not real. It's not real gold or anything. Crafter's lot. There we go. Crafter's lot. Um, this is just a dangly something. There's no makers. There's no name. But I like the chain. And it's not, doesn't have any markings on it. But it's really kind of cool, actually. And it's fairly long. So you could take this piece off and put anything on it. Wow, it's hot in here. Park Lane, the Amway. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's going to go in the 
crafters lot. Okay, that, that. Okay, this, these are real pearls and they are really pretty. They are freshwater, but they're larger sized ones. There's two strands. Oh, no, there's not. You guys, seriously. These are real. She sold it to me for $1.50. She knew they were real. I know, huh? It's like it's like the uh, um, the flappers, the flappers version. And these are they're just a bunch of baubles that go on. Probably gonna go in a crafter's lot too, except for that's a Mickey Mouse pendant. This is a really cute little locket. And I think that's about, I mean, these are really just like, like what you said. This, this is a little coissonne piece, nothing exciting. Ooh, I might send that to Carol Butterfly Hustles. And, you know, just more little charms. You could actually use these for zipper pulls if you wanted to. Got to be fancy, so crafters lot for those, most of those. But that was, I think she charged me uh, two dollars because of, because of the Mickey Mouse one. All right. Then the last piece of jewelry. This is. I got lucky here. These are. Camaro Fine Jewelry Hawaiian Manufacturing and their sterling silver. And she didn't really want to sell them to me because she wanted to look them up. So I looked them, I looked this, you, I could not find anything on this. We found some similar ones, settled on a price, but like I said, I got all of this stuff for 30 bucks there is that's the brooch some of the camera stuff that i found is worth a pretty penny and it's a butterfly they're butterflies somewhere on here she had her loop we were looking at stuff with her loop super nice her she and her husband owned this um the state sale company. Anyway, that's the jewelry. I spent $88 there all in all. 30 of it on the jewelry. Did I show you everything else? Uh, the cups were $250 each. The stuffed animals were $250 each. Oh. <laughs> so Greg had sent me a video. What did I do with this thing? Greg had sent me a YouTube video to watch and it was hilariously, it was, uh, it was hilarious. But in the background, like up here behind the guy, there was a frame, a picture frame that, and I kept noticing when it kept coming back to him that that picture had a different picture in it and they were hilarious. He had a digital picture frame and it was just, you know, sourcing through all of the, they were hilarious pictures. And so I told Greg, I said, that's the funniest thing I have ever seen in the background of somebody's and conspicuously it's there on the shelf. Like it could be there on the shelf. <laughs> anyway, I told him, I, I said, I want one of those now. And he goes, he goes, I go, I see him all the time at estate sales and cha-ching. Yes, sir. I got one. <laughs> and it's never been used because nobody ever used those. Look it. All right. So I, th I think I'm probably going to have it in my office. Watch out, you guys. I'm going to put pictures of all of you on it.
You bought linens at a garage sale because of you? Ah, what'd you get? Some doily thingies, <laughs> some bird bat, bird bat pillowcases, some dainty hanky. There you go. Watch out. Watch out. Game Master's Vault is into the linen. This is a test. You'll probably have to kick me out. Are you ready to come in? Okay. Boom. Hi, Archie. How you doing? Oh, he'll be back. I feel like I'm missing something from that. Oh, I know I am. She told me to go back inside and look because she gets so much costume jewelry that she never can sell it all. And what she'll do is she'll just make bags of it for like 50 cents to a dollar. And so that's, she told me to make sure that if I can come next weekend, um, and she took all the rest of the jewelry that she needed to look up and have priced. And she put a, her car, she put a rubber band around it. Oh, I also got this. It just dropped on the floor. I got this. It has a name on it. Don't ask me what. There's a marking on it here somewhere. I don't, oops. Can you guys read it? Or is it upside down? Jeez Louise. Continue as I was. Okay, Greg. Let me know. All right. So that, it's really kind of pretty. It's got all those lovely mid-century modern colors in it. Light glare on it. Let's see if I can show it now. Ah, because I put it back together and now it doesn't want to come apart because I'm obviously the kind of girl that wears a lot of jewelry. Okay, I'm not sure if this is right side up or not. And it's still got a glare from the computer screen now, so we're just going to give up on that one. This bag of stuffage was 50 cents. Matter of fact, <laughs> there's the price tag that came off on this. And it really is a bag of stuffage, except for there's some stuffage in there that was good. Bowman, Bowman, how are you? Greg's got some awesome boots. Mostly this is just like crafter's lot stuff. Just crap but I saw in here like Emily might like this it's just a little rinky dink necklace but something that a 14 year old kid would wear okay this needs two links fixed and there, then there's well, there's another silver necklace this needs two links fixed and it is glass. So it needs connected up here and it needs this one connected up here or these could be taken off and it could be like this. But it's really pretty. Or it can also go into a crafter's lot. This isn't the main reason I bought it, but I pulled this out. There's also some more glass beads. These are like the ones my grandmother wore. I used to have a whole long strand of these. It's not a very long piece. I sent Tracy some of these a while back. Do you remember that, Tracy? Because I was like, I thought they were just cheap ass rings but i did look them up just a second greg and i'll put i'll bring you in 
I know you're back there. I see you. Um, somewhere in here it says silver on it right there. A lot of people don't realize that they make a lot of these. They made a lot of these adjustable rings like this. You're still in your moo. -moo? I like that moo moo. Hi. Hi. How you feeling? I've been I've been waiting for you to let me in for over an hour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. This actually looks like it might be silver. This is just a little. Do you remember these from the '80s? You you know you do. No. It's got, anybody can read that? I don't know. Where, where's Lissa? Is she here? She's sleeping. Good night, Tracy. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great week. My fingernails are so toasted. I hate to even like make you guys see it. Look at, so there's this kind of stuff in there. Little things like that. Um, here's the other pieces to that necklace. Nicholas. Anyway. Hi, Lisa. Then if you guys, Lisa, better start saying your, uh, Hail Marys. You guys walk past, um, rosaries, you need your heads examined. Because them there, Catholic people, they pay good money for these. <laughs> them there, Catholic. Lissa's always telling me about Catholic guilt. Okay, this one is got all the little, the Annunciation, the Resurrection. The agony in the garden. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, you guys. They wanted, she wanted five dollars. Annie, where are you? She wanted five dollars for this. This she is, she did not. She actually gave me this rosary. God, I'm having a hard time with, with the split screen. She gave me this Go. rosary, and it's all glass beads. Go and full screen. No, because you're here. I know, but they I so they can see what you have. I'll do that one. Yeah, and I like she that. Gave me this, this one, and I think this one's sterling silver. I have to, oops, there. It really is a beautiful piece of jewelry, but it's wood beads, and it has silver pieces on it. God, I'm not... So, cutting, dang it, the wine and the crackers. I'm Catholic, feeling guilty not not to pick up rosaries. Anyway, there you go. Rosaries, you guys. They sell. All right, Greg, I'm gonna clean up this mess I got here. So mm -hmm. show us some of, show us some of what you got. Well, okay. So I went to the yeah, auction. Yeah. Dude, you need a haircut. Just saying, that's the mom and me. It's, co it's COVID. I can't. It, it's hotter than heck there. It's hotter there <laughs> than it is here. I know. Um, so I went to this auction yesterday, and I bought a new, a new uh, queen size bed for myself, brand new oh. in the packaging. What? Um, that was three dollars. Uh, big vendor, you. Yeah, uh, I got two pallets. One of them was like medical supplies. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called. There was some anesthesiology, like none of it prescription, just like the like the monitors that you would see in the hospital. Yeah. Maybe. Um, and then I got another pallet full of office phones and like Polycom and stuff. If you guys know what that is. How did you um, get all that stuff home? Well, so the two pallets are still sitting there. 
Um, I paid twenty dollars for the two pallets total. Um, the bed is still there, and then <laughs> what else is still there? Oh, a bunch of giant like you know when you go into Ross and they have those like discounted like giant pictures that are yeah. I don't know. It'll be like one's Marilyn Monroe and just like kind of kind of almost like the IKEA pictures too. Yeah, pr yeah, pretty yeah. much. I got I got like six or seven of those and. That was five dollars total, and then I got all of this glass, and I have no interest in any of it, and I'm not going to sell any of it. But I got the entire cart for three dollars, so I ha I couldn't not get it. Oh, you got yourself some flowers. So I figured I'd show you guys, and if anybody wanted anything, or but I I'm not going to sell it. All that's going to happen to it is everything will end up getting broken. Just because I know how to package it. I'm just not trying to store it and, you know. Do you need to, like, throw those flowers away? Just saying. These ones? Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. gross. Keep the, keep the container, but. Of course, that's Someone just my personal of... opinion. Someone spent a lot of time on that. Noah. Yeah, some poor person over in China. I <laughs> I think everything is, I think all the glass is cheap, but may, one of you, maybe you'll see something that's that, worth. What's that mirror? Is that a mirror behind that one you just stuck in the box? Yeah, so the, that one is, it's just a cheap, I mean, not cheap. It has a $49.99 Hobby Lobby tag on it, but it's just a cheap, like. It's inexpensive. It's not, it's yeah, not it's anything. Expensive older it's really cool though you could yeah. use that for a mirror you could use that to set on a dresser and put your perfumes and stuff on you know yeah or just me <laughs> or me or lissa whoever <laughs> yeah the speaker yeah you're right game master um <laughs> throw them out the door quick quick this mirror actually could be worth something it has this really pretty and then on the back it says uh Mirror wall, London. Garfield uh, it mirror. Very well be. Um, but the glass has no flaws in it. And then, but I just thought that that was pretty. And like that I said, I got cool. all this for, for two or three dollars. Is this that same? Is this that same auction where you got all the books? Is it the same? Is that the? I meant no, to ask this is you a that. different, different same place. Same idea. Same idea. Yeah. Um. I also got. I have. 20 some of these wonder vases and i guess you just get this thing wet and then shape it into whatever kind of vase. oh yeah I've you seen, need. it the, seems the, like the yvonne had a couple of those a Is long she? time ago it's been a while because i haven't watched but i thought that was it. weird cool. i haven't had time stomp on them um game master's vault name is mike mike okay and then i got a whole uh i don't know there's probably 15 of these these Reynolds handy backs. Oh, and, uh, those are good money. Did you comp those yet? Yeah, I want to say they're 15 a piece, but if somebody wants to comp them for me, uh, Reynolds handy backs, vacuum it storage seems, system. It seems like they're worth more in the bags that, that you use on those. Uh huh. I got to open my door over here. It is freaking hot. I know. Can you guys hear my fan? It's, I had to turn it back on because it was so hot in here. I'm per uh, have to. Woo! The only thing in here that I'm necessarily uh, think will be worth anything is this Martha Stewart curtain, just because I know Martha Stewart stuff. Yeah, Martha Stewart's very collectible. Martha Stewart pottery barn, shabby chic. Oh, yeah. I sold a vintage uh, nylon blanket with fake satin trim for how much did I sell that for? $74. I was mowing the lawn, listening to Jelly Roll, minding my own business, and there's a cha-ching, and I was like, I'm not answering it right this minute. By the yeah. time I got to answer it, they had retracted their bid. They offered me $70 for this blanket, right? An hour later, I get a bid from the same person for $74. They must have thought I wasn't going to accept it or something. I, I don't know. They just they just needed to wait like five minutes. 
Well, hey, that worked out, though. I thought this was pretty. I don't know. Maybe it's probably just something from Walmart, for all I know. I sell, I've seen a lot of those. I don't know if it's from Walmart, but I don't know that. Lissa, what do you know about those? I honestly don't. Tommy wants to know why you're sweating like Chris Watson interrogation, Greg. <laughs> I don't know who Chris Watts is, but... Um, it's freaking hot. <laughs> I probably did whatever the same thing he did. Whatever he was interrogated for, I probably just got done doing. He can't be held responsible for it. Yeah. Um, this is a I, this is from Hobby Lobby too, but thirty four ninety nine price tag. It's just gaudy, not gaudy, but cute. I guess whatever you call it. Oh, just like a, something a college student would have. Yeah, a basic white girl. Basic white girl. Um, That's I need to, this is going to be my, I need to get this jewelry. I, I, I can't, oh, I got a box over there. I can put this other jewelry in. There's, I don't know, I don't know what you put in there. I think it's for a seance or to hold candy or something. You put candles in there and then you sacrifice something in here and put all of its blood in the top. <laughs> Maybe. If anybody knows what, what it, something else, just let me know. It looks like some kind of a... I don't know. Does it look old or does it look new? You know what I mean? Does it... Um, it's very interesting. I mean, for all I know, it could have been made... It could have either been waited, made in Walmart last week or it could have either been made like a thousand years ago by... You know what it looks that, like? It looks like one of those light covers, but it's missing the hole in the middle of it to screw it on there. That's Tracy's Coke tray, Tommy says. Gotcha. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, I know, Chris Watts. He's my homie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> do, you know who that, do you know who that is, Noel? I do not. He, he killed his wife and kids. Or He killed his wife and her kids and put them in a well and did all kinds of crazy stuff. I can't stay away from that kind of stuff. Oh, this is a nice... If anybody does need a Coke tray, this is nice. There you go. Did he do this just recently? I've been uh, staying away. Oh, hey. I, I got some other uh, rosaries, too. Oh, that's that's like Capa de Monte. Does it have a marking on the bottom of it? No, it looks like it was made in a fifth grade art class. Oh, that's... It's, it's styled like Capa de Monte, but that's, yeah, that's a... Fakey, fakey. You put the candles in it. Do you see the spots there where you can put the candles oh, in? Yeah, I do, actually. Huh. Uh, yeah, so all this glass, I don't know. I'll either... I'm probably going to end up donating most of it, but the pictures might... I might take to the flea market or something. I or maybe, I I'll I take it all to the flea market and donate whatever afterwards. There you go. Um, I don't think I ever showed all of these other rosaries that I got from other places. Let, let's see them. Okay. Seriously? I don't, the, I don't. This gourd had a price tag of $35 on it. From, Everything you got, all the pal. Wait, wait a minute. That's kind of cool. That's actually pretty cool. You might look that one up. That's pretty neat. Somebody did th somebody did that by hand. Like a Native American? Probably like a where does it say it was made? Probably like a poor Chinese person. Um what is, Gina just said or somebody said something about a marking on the leaf. Does it have a marking on the leaves? Would it be pretty obvious? If does I, it if feel it like one? it's does it feel like it's metal or like it's ceramic? That's metal. metal. Hi Jody, how are you? Is this worth okay. keeping? I'm just gonna end up cut, I'm gonna end up slicing my finger off with it. 
I, are you still selling on Posh? On I mean, Macari? I have stuff on Poshmark, but I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I am. Why well, you think it would go on there? I think that would be a Posh or a Macari oh. item for like 15 Okay. Oh, Kappa there you go. What does that it mean? It is Kappa de Monte. Dun, dun, dun. Then you need to, not all Kappa de Monte is worth a lot of money, but check that one out. That's why. And it looks like that leaf was broken. Where? The one that has the Kappa de Monte on it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. It looks like somebody glued it back on. Which is fine. They, they did a, a, a pretty nice job, but it doesn't look like there's any chips on any of the rest of the stuff. So, um, I mean, so who is this guy and what is this worth? Capo de Monte is, it should be Italy. And I would say that it's probably, probably worth about 19, 20 bucks. Oh, what the fuck? The way you guys got me all excited. I thought we were talking at least like a hundred. What do you mean? Some of the, some of the stuff is worth a lot of money and some of it's not. I have a really pretty piece that's in the original box. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. About 20 million other people have the same thing. Emily picked it up a couple of years ago. So Good it just job. matters on the piece. You might want to check it out. All right. I will. Very, very good eyes. Very good eyes, Jody and Gina. It's a um, city in Italy. You have one as well. You're trying to price. Show, send uh, Alyssa a, a picture of it, Tommy. Some of it is in the thousands, exactly. Didn't you show a picture of that somewhere, Tommy? Or were you just talking about it? I think you were just talking about it in chat, in somebody's chat. I can't remember where. You were talking. Maybe it was. Maybe it was with Tim. I have some. I have four of these, and they're all pictures of boats. I don't know if anybody size enough or good enough. Are they? Are they numbered? Would it be in the corner? No. Is there any? Is there anything in the back? On the no. back. Well, I'm gonna say just by the look of that frame that those probably aren't very much. Okay, I shouldn't say that. They aren't new. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just a blue tag. I. I would see if you can if you can Google lens that author the artist. Because uh -huh. some of that, some of that stuff that's older like that just has a following. This they, it didn't jump out to anyone as being like a an original uh, Christopher Columbus or something. No. Those, those are too somebody... fancy. Those are too <laughs> fancy to be Christopher Columbus. That <laughs> one's broken though, Mike. It's got a broken spot on it, so it's not going to be worth as much. And then I have this deluxe metal loom. Loops and looms. Oh, those sell. Do you do you have the the loom itself? Yeah, it's all in there. I'll probably it has that, a eight ninety nine price tag from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say you should be able to get. I mean, if you want to list it, you should pr be able to get ten or fifteen bucks for it. Well, that's pretty, I mean, and then I left, uh, there's another box of glass there, and the bed, and then the two pallets of bones and stuff. And I, in total, I paid 88. In total, you paid, you spent the same amount of money I did. You paid 88 exactly? Jinx, you owe me a, co uh, uh, a coffee. <laughs> All right. I, I don't, I don't do soda, so. <laughs> Um, I'm this also also this is super heavy. There's a couple broken pieces on it. I that don't looks see like it. That could be Capo de Monte too. So look and see if you can find because that's when you see that stuff like that. That's almost a dead giveaway. Um, do you I know what I mean? It, yeah. Oh, well, oh, it says right here. We certify that this plate piece is completely made with craftsman furnaces and completely hand decorated with experienced artisans with more traditional Italian method craftsmen made in Italy. 
but it doesn't say it doesn't say well it probably it's capa de monte style we can say that for a fact right yeah well is he uh, dead is it's a city capa oh. de monte is a city in italy where they that craft is um practiced by many different artisans same as murano glass murano is a city in italy and there are many different companies that make Murano glass. And then there's same as um, uh, Nortaki China. That's or Nortaki China is Nortaki is a city in Japan that mm -hmm. makes and they have different manufacturers, but they, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, OK, yeah. See, I was going to say if the guy was dead, we'll, we'll just say it's a Capa du Monte and Nobody would be there to argue it. <laughs> he got capped in the Dumonte. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best thing to do is start doing some. Okay. Tell me something, will you please? Yes. Look at my look at me um, in my picture. Do you see a, a a bright light right below my eye? No, I mean your your picture is about the size of a quarter. If I, it's gonna Hello? move. Now, do you see it? Yeah, is somebody gonna shoot you? Every once in a while, this thing has a light, and I don't know where it's coming from. It's like it's see. It doesn't matter what I do when I come back over here. There it is again. I think somebody has a uh, <laughs> scope on you. Let me have it. <laughs> my pap smear came back abnormal. I've got rheumatoid arthritis in my knee and my hand. So, you know, I only have six lives left, you guys. Let's get, that's let's only, go. That's only two more. Then you'll have to four. Let's go. The SWAT team is there. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a firefly bed on my face. I like that one. You were watching, uh, Danica was. <laughs> Dana, go check your, Danica, go check your Instagram. If I smile right and move my mouth, it makes my teeth look like I got the little shine going on. Ding. Um, check your Instagram. You miss, yeah, Tracy was here. Um, Danica was, didn't know we were, I was live because she was watching Floby um, videos on how to cut her hair. Because they were teasing you earlier about um, when I said you should you need a haircut, uh -huh. and um, Mike said get a Floby. He cuts his own hair. I wish I had a if I had a Floby, I would use it and sell it right away. <laughs> well, then you could say it was tested, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, so if nobody saw anything crazy that you don't insist I look up, then I think it's all going to just go to the flea market. Is that all the glass you got? That's it. There's another, there's another big box there, but I couldn't, I didn't have enough time to you take did. it before they close. Yeah, that's what, well, Tommy, Tommy, do you cut your own hair? It's hot in here. Sorry, you guys. Um, I cut, I cut um, my youngest son. Dren needs his hair cut. He doesn't want to get his hair cut until I get some blue dye so that I can dye his hair blue. So he's on a, he's revolting against haircuts unless he can have his hair dyed blue. School gets out on Tuesday and I'm going to let him dye his hair blue. And then he's going to get a haircut. He can have blue hair all summer long. His dad wanted black hair and I, I did not want to dye his hair black because his dad was white, like ghostly white. He still is. And I just knew that if I dyed his hair black, he was going to look like an albino. So I told no, him, I said, I said, look like when a summer vampire. Starts, yeah, when summer starts, I will dye your hair black. And luckily, Justin's hair grows fast because he was just like, yeah, the wall clip. Yep. Yep. Um, luckily, Justin's hair grows fast because, uh, he did not like the black. 
Are you ready? Is yeah. you ready? Are you ready? Oh, Boom! God. Let's Who check it out. Danica's got you covered. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? Um, well, she is going by a lady named Danica. We had um who were you earlier? Uh Archie Bunker. Archie Bunker was here earlier, but he didn't stay very long, and now we have Paul Rubin Jr. The Pee Wee Herman's son. Yeah. You pervert. <laughs> Everybody's a pervert. Some people get caught. This is true. Yeah, I'm I'm listing a Floby and I'm like, how does this thing even work? Because I kept looking on this end to plug the power in and there's no hole. You would Check think this out. You would think it would be on this end. But it's on this, this was, end. This was my grandfather's light that was on his desk when he worked at Lockheed Martin. It is so art deco. Oh, I just got this today. Beautiful. I just wanted to show you my Floby. <laughs> That's awesome. Where did you pick that sucker up at? Uh, one of the Ben stores that we went to on our trip. I don't. I don't remember oh, which one. You got that on your trip. I got a bottle of wine here for you. Um, I was trying to Google the the sacrifice altar. Setter home. You want some setter home? No. I oh, look. I got a freaking hole. Oh, what do you got there? Me. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Man, it's freaking hot here. Open your door. Yeah. I have the door open and then I I put the garage door back up. I'm gonna open it up the rest of the way because <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, I was thinking about trying it on my leg hair. Check these out. I got I had to promise to not sell them that I would keep them and use them. This, these are good. It's a little curette set. Hey, that matches the altar. Maybe that's for like holy good water. seasons. Look at they're actually good seasons. Seasons of what? It's salad dressing that you make oh. your own. You put the water. It's got the line on here for the water and the vinegar. I don't know why you'd need two. I don't know why you could just go to Walmart and buy a bottle of dressing. It's called making your own, Greg. See, none of that makes any sense. Do you think it's the light behind me? Because when I move here, then it's not. When I move this way, it's there. It's it's something. It's weird, isn't it? I think you're right, Jody. It's a light from something. Hi, Carol Ann. Did I? Uh, who else? Did it's I, probably Ms. that here. spotlight Ms. behind Murphy. you on your computer. Hi, Miss Murphy. I'm gonna go inside and get a drink. Stay here, Danica. Hey, will okay, you get me some ice water? Will you yeah. get me some ice water? Okay. Thanks. I'll be right back. I'm trying right. hard to to work and list. It. I'm glad you're on though. Okay, I got this little beauty here for five dollars. That's pretty. I asked the guy how much. He goes just like this, puts his hands on the top of it, and he looks goes like this, and he goes like he's looking. He didn't know what the hell it was. He goes five dollars, and I go okay. I normally wouldn't pay that much, but this is blue, and you usually only see these in amber and green. Tim will tell you that blue is fairly hot color right now. Hot, hot. Greg, in the 70s, you would buy pack. Yes, you can still do that to this day, Lissa. You can still buy. I have some in the house, as a matter of fact. I also just make my own. You put your own seasonings in there with the vinegar and the water. Wasn't the hundreds of dressings in the store. No, you had ranch, the real ranch, the real Hidden Valley Ranch. No, um, you have it. You have it, Tommy, go ahead. <laughs> Have what? Long what? story. Long story short. Is he uh, here? Tommy uh, makes comments, and I'm sensitive. Like you know that. Like I'm like, oh, poor me. Or if somebody says something that's like 
catty. I'm like, ooh. Anyway, it's really not that big a deal. But I just have to I have to ignore those kind of comments anymore because that put me into counseling. <laughs> For real. For real. Tell me. I know, you, I know you appreciate her. But <laughs> I've just come from a, a different background where you don't like I don't know. Where you don't go to counseling? <laughs> no, I'll probably need to go to counseling. It's not a bad thing. I actually really like this gal. She's getting her master's degree. So this is her last. I'm, I told her, I said, I said, it'd probably be a really good um, subject for your thesis paper. <laughs> no, I never said you didn't appreciate her. I never said that. That's somebody else talking. Okay. It's I'm not getting in on this because the last time Tommy did this kind of crap, it cost me two really good friends. So I'm staying out of all that. I got this. I saw where you said that she couldn't dance good. I That's got this. What I was referring to. Cool as heck coffee pot. Two pieces. It is. I paid five dollars for it because it's all there. It is. You guys see that? Quick drip coffee maker. Cool. I would like to say that the handles are Bakelite, but I don't think they are because they're black and you don't see very much black Bakelite. All right. I have to show you guys this because it's killing me. So my son is pulling boxes of stuff out of the garage at my aunt's house yesterday. And two boxes of brand new dead stock. Look at that tag. Never yeah. been touched. Scratchy. It's freezing scissors. up. I'm freezing up. Mm -hmm. All right, hang out. I'm going to go out and come back in. Okay. Please and thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. I really just wanted to show my Floby and go. <laughs> Hurry up. Can you believe this was in the bins? Okay. I'm not entertaining. I'm sorry. So I'm trying to decide. These people, I am not going to accept your offer. I would accept any offer right now. Actually, you know what? Know. Actually, you know what? I will because I paid 10 cents for this thing, but it is a 1961.72. Let's see. Lissa, that was so funny. One night, y'all, they were doing the live, Lissa and Noel, and I went in for the after show, and Noel left to go do something, and I was backstage, and Lissa was sitting there going, hello? Hello? Are you there? And I'm in the back watching. Just laughing because she was so sweet and innocent like and confused like why am i here by myself <laughs> oh <laughs> why are you frozen i don't know it's me me i think it's not you it's me it's my stream yard i have five Wait, real I quick five, i have to oh. leave you 
You're going to leave? Okay. Yeah, because I'm not, I don't get work done on here. That's fine. I played last night. I know. I, I wish I'd have known you guys were on. I would have watched while I was mowing. But anyway. That's what happens right. when, you, when you mow 24-7. Well, Jesus Christ, I haven't mowed over there for eight, six weeks. I still have a, a still have to mow tomorrow and I'll, then I'll be done. And then I have to mow again because I had to mow on the highest setting and it looks like crap. Anyway. All right. Go ahead and head hey, out. Hey, this was you. made in Corpus Christi, Texas. Anyway. What was? What was? The movie. movie? Yeah. Did you figure, Sorry. did you get it to work? Yeah, it works. Woo, woo, woo. Who's hair did you cut? I didn't mm. cut anybody's hair. <laughs> I thought about cutting some hair. Tommy needs a haircut. Oh, no, he does his own. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in the chat. Bye. All right, so back to the pants. Greg bailed like a pro. Yep. No, I took him off the screen so that Danica and I were there. He just he went to get some water. He may come back. He may not. One pair of those. I don't even know how many pairs there are. This box is so... This is a pair of thumbs up, custom tailored Sears. Oh, I better, that thing came off. I better put that in the pocket. Another pair of Sears pants. He was tall too, but these are from the, these have to be from, her mother never got them hemmed. And she, these have to be from the 70s. Um, there are, these are same ones. They're called, they have this weird tag on them. This one does. Robux. I mean, it's, it's not a weird name. It's just, they don't have the leather. And then there's, is this the same one? These are Lee. Um... They bought these at Sears too. I wish there was a date tag. These are all like 40 by 34. So what are we on now? Who's who's keeping count for me? One, two, <laughs> three, four, five pairs so far. We're at five. Here is another pair of genuine Robux flex jeans for men, tailored for man size comfort see that these are rustlers these are bought at target i don't know how long ago but these are rustlers i i can honestly tell you in the eight years i've known them i never saw him wear a pair of jeans these have been in the garage for quite some time. Here's a pair of Levi's 517s that who knows where they got them at. They don't have the taggy here. They cut that off. I mean, there's no, that is the Levi's symbol. Does say Levi is right there. And let's see if there's a thing on the button. Can't. Do you guys know how to look? Not that I think any of you are stupid, because by far, we all have stuff. It's got something. On the on the backs of the button, there's usually a number. And there is one there. It's really faint. Anyway, these are probably seconds or something like that. These are 44 by 32s. And they're... I could never have worn these. They're so stiff. I had already lost track, so I hope somebody's keeping count. Um, these are worn. These had been worn, at least washed. These are Robux. I think this might be the only pair that didn't get worn. And more wrestlers, boot cut. One, another pair of wrestlers, two more pairs of wrestler boot cuts, 44 by 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven pairs. They were all free to me. Unless salvage, they do well. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're either in my car. I thought I brought them into the house. I don't know. You'll have to. I don't think I locked it yet, buddy. Sorry. Um, Greg isn't back yet. Let's see. Greg, you were stealing her thunder. Are you back, Greg? I see you. There you are. I've been, I've been here. Well, that's my bad for not seeing you. I'm sorry. Oh, I was showing all the beans. That's why. No, you're. I was. I wasn't in the frame the whole time, so that's probably why you didn't see me. I was cleaning and stuff. Um, unless salvaged, is that what you said? I think just that one pair is Tommy a salvaged pair. Um. They're probably in the house, buddy, if they're not right there on the seat. I took them in the house. So, are, are they, yeah, they should be right in the house. I don't know where. You got two brand new shirts from Annie Elise. In the house. I don't know, bud. I, I mean, that was like an hour ago. You expect me to remember that? Really? <laughs> yeah, you're, Greg's internet is really clear today. Um. Oh, were you really talking to us when I kicked you off? That's hilarious. Hilarious. Mrs. Murphy McDonald's upping their game. Must be something. Anyway. Do you have a... a um, lantern there in your in that box? No, this is a uh, the Vitamix I picked up. Oh, 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 that's right. Greg got his first Vitamix, you guys. Round of applause. Hey, no, yeah. Round of applause. I, I was worried because I can tell it's an older model, but um, and I was up in the mountains, so I didn't have any service. But it, oh, it's thought... it's a good one though. Oh yeah, you almost can't go wrong with any Vitamix. It just depends on what they're asking for it. I bet it is pretty there, Gina camera and lighting i got it. it it's just light yeah i mean i my camera is a uh where i have a, a halo now my camera is a v60 uh it's the kind that the kind of phone that folds in half v60 think t-h-i-n-q oh the new ones that just came out yeah um so that's the camera and then the light is just the built-in shed lights that are like fluorescent or whatever. When I remember when we first built this garage, I think it was 1979. We hadn't had the doors on it yet. There was a huge thunder and lightning. I mean, huge. And you could see the lightning coming down like just right across the driveway. And we sat out here in the garage and watched it. Nobody, everybody was too scared to run to the house because the lightning was like right there and we sat out here for like an hour and a half watching it all and it, it like it was just not going anywhere that's where it was going to be it's pretty cool though all right so i have three pieces of milk glass however these are not your ordinary milk glass and I will tell you why that's one I'm gonna I'm gonna do this okay this is one they're all made by the same maker and I'm gonna show you who in just a minute they were really gross they were in my aunt's I shouldn't say gross they've been packed away they were my grandfather's so when he moved in with them in the 60s 
and then they moved up here in the 70s from California. And these were his. And so I got to have them. And they're all made by, I think I'll show you the bottom of this one. And so this one has hobnail design on it. And I think this one is going to be the easiest one to show you. E O. Oh, wow. I hate. Um, it's getting there, you guys. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I had a good one. Bear with me. Cleveland, USA. E.O. Brody Company. M.E. There is like no light over here for me to read that. Anyway, they're all made by the same. I've never heard of this company. Have you heard of this, Lissa? Can you hear that fan? Not really. Okay. I can't. Is it super, Is it annoying? I can't hear anything. Okay. Let's see if I can read this better. Here I'm with Brody Milk Glass all over. You see it over there. I have never seen it over here. Just staying. Anyway, that's just been packed up since. 1960 1975 1970 not seeing the light obey I got some I got some Z coils yesterday did you really yeah men men's or women's um men size 11 and I did a I don't know when the last time you, or how well you know like live auctions but they do a uh uh like you pick, like they have like five things and you bid, but you just get to pick which one you want for that price. Instead of like, you're not getting all of the items. You're just getting to pick which item you want. Right. Um, and so that's what it was. It was just like a, uh, a bunch of random items that, and then you got, to, if you won the bid, you got to pick. And I Some won the bid $4. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. This, this one, this one that I have right here, Tommy looks to be like it's worth quite a bit of money. Um, uh, some of the Brody stuff is worth quite a bit, actually. This one is for sale or already sold, so it's not going to tell me anything. And this is a weird site that I've never been to. So let's go back. But I see a couple of those. Um, yeah, Brody... The hobnail brooch, yeah. Look it up. I'm googling it right now. Um, there's even that Brody looks like it's custard glass, but it's not. It's just the way they have the light on it. So yeah, Tommy. Um, I didn't know my aunt. Oh wow, she's got this one too, pink. I'm gonna be getting that one from her tomorrow. Um, I never, I, I never really looked at. I don't really look at a lot of milk glass. Here's an EO Brody. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just easier that way. Yeah. Let me go back here. There's only there's only two of these vases that have sold Noel, but one went for twelve, one went for eight, which Which vase? These uh the wonder vase that you make, you, you form yourself. One, one, one went for 12, one, for, one went for eight. I wonder if you could sell them in a uh, bundle if they would sell for more and just get rid of all of them at the same time. Oh yeah, and there's 22 of them listed and only two sold. Yeah, that's ideally what I would do. Okay. Let's see. This vase right here is on Etsy. For fifty nine eleven. Now I'm gonna see if am I out of Etsy back into Google now? You're on Google. Okay. You see the different I I know these are listed prices. We're all well aware of that. I'm just in Google looking at stuff. So um 
some of the Brody, like I have this, this one right here, I have some, a similar one to that, or this one is actually the one I have that I just showed. Um, and then, so yeah, I guess Tommy, some of the Brody stuff, I, I have this one right here. And I don't see one like the tall hobnail one I have, but it seemed like when I was look, scrolling through here, the EO Brody hobnail ones go for more money. And we can go, but let me go back here. They have one, two, three, four, five of them on Etsy that somebody is selling for 112, attempting hmm. to sell. Let's, let's say this right. You guys know what I mean. I'm not going to. We all know that they're not sold. They're listed. Here's one that somebody's attempting to get 62 on eBay. So let's, it's not, it's not going to work like I want it to. Anyway, so yeah, I would say, I would say, and I'm just, y'all cannot get boots to fit me. You can't. How come, Douglas? And hey, how are you? So there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading, going back up and see what I missed. I think I think I think that the the Brody milk glass, you know, you just have to you just have to have the right piece. So it's just like with everything else, you got to know which pieces you have. Those are free. They were from my grandfather, so I didn't pay anything for them. We'll see. Too high of an instep. You have too high of an instep, Douglas? Yeah, that's why you can't find boots that'll fit him, he said. Do you do you have uh, inserts that the foot, the orthopedic uh, or the podiatrist has made for you that you can put in them? That's what you need is you need some insets, inserts. One had a heel three inches taller than the other. Are you serious? Yeah, I. they were brand new Red Wings and I couldn't figure out. I was like, why are, because they, they, be, they were in a bin that was there for over an hour already. And eventually I realized one was three inches taller than the other. Well, you know what? <laughs> Did you, what, do you have them still? No, I didn't end up, I decided not to. You know, there's people looking for that shit. Like, I have a friend who has their, and they have to have their stuff specially made, and it's super freaking expensive. You should think about listing it as a single shoe. No, I'll never list a single shoe. It, in my opinion, it's just asking for a return for somebody that didn't realize it was a single shoe. I can get that. And and that, that was my reasoning with the taller one, too. Like, definitely, I couldn't. Could have sold it for good money, but I just foresaw the hassle that would happen with people not realizing and yeah, didn't want to mess with it. But I'm sure they were worth a lot of money. Okay, Tommy. Brody Milk Glass, 1,102 results. That's not a vase, that's just for the milk glass. That's unsold. I just put Brody milk glass in because there's all different kinds of things. And they, look at these guys buy it now too. Why would you even waste your money? These are the ones that I think they just remind me of the stuff you have at church. When I was a kid and I was made to go to church. So these are the solds. Uh, 1795. So this one's more of a cream color. These are the uh, wedding. See, this is how what they're doing, selling the three hooser glass. I love this. Do you see a white background in any of these? Semi sorta black, rattan, gray, wood, tile, somebody's kitchen counter. With their Avon skin so soft in the back, black, 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 wood, somebody holding it up and you can see their backyard. <laughs> all <laughs> these people that want to sell, sell you a thing and tell you all the lights and the 
stuff that you need to have. They're going to sell you their program and teach you how to sell on eBay. More power to them if they can do it. This one has a white background and you can't even hardly see the thing. And it's sold for $25.99. I actually have that one, that vase right here. I just like looking at this stuff. And this one is really cool. And they got one bid for $5 with $8 shipping. I This is why I don't do 99 cents. Oh my God. Why people, why put them on bid on auction? All right. I've had enough of that foolishness. What are these called? What is this called again that you're looking at? Brody milk glass. Anyway. Um, did that I a return on a Gucci driving shoe couldn't have been more clear in the listing. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people too. I have, I have. Let's no, well, did that. I show you this Chuck E. Cheese stuffed animal? No. Uh, yeah, actually, is it the um the Pizza Chef? Yes. Did you sell it? No. I I'm gonna show oh, everyone yeah. real quick though. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to let you hijack my channel. I'm going to go get some more water. Okay. I'll so I got right this at the auction last weekend, and it was in a box of plush sticking out. And I recognized him because I'd sold him once before. But this is the pizza chef from Chuck E. Cheese. And 16 inches, I think this guy is. But he sells for right around 120 Pretty much all the Chuck E. Cheese people are a good pickup if they're vint the vintage ones. But... um. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that was cool. His stat, his hat's a little stained, but beyond that, he's in good condition. And then here's his tag. Oops. Sorry. Hold on. It says Chuck E. Cheese, and then it'll say Showbiz. Showbiz Pizza. And 1992 is the year on this one. But so I got the whole box of plush for $3. I ended up throwing the rest of the box away because it was just trash. But Luckily, I saw that thing. I think um, all of the Chuck E. Cheese stuff goes well, but I, it's the it's the weird random plush that go for good money. Like, obviously, obviously, you could still sell a Mickey Mouse, but it's the random Mickey Mouse character that you've never even heard of or seen before that would sell better. You know what I mean? The ones that they didn't make a bunch of or that weren't weren't mass produced. Not to say that Mickey Mouse or Pooh doesn't sell for money, but the weird characters would sell for more often. Oh more yes. Often. It's, it's it's like uh, Scrooge McDuck and the cow and those things. Mm -hmm. Um they always sell they're because they're less available. You don't see them as much. Um, yeah. Hey, did you see what I got today? I don't know if you were on here bringing stuff from your car. Did you, I got the digital photo frame, man. I didn't see it, but you told me about it. Is it nice? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I'm going to have some fun with that. Yeah. Will you put us on an even screen? I'm going to put all of you guys on. Yes, I will. You're going to put us in the picture frame? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put pictures of everybody in this. And it's oh, gonna okay. be in my office, and it's just gonna have weird ass pictures. I'm gonna screenshot pictures of people in lives, <laughs> and I'm gonna stick them on here. Danica is really good at that. She she gets some, she'll get some good ones. There's there's been a picture of a a family on Splash Mountain from 2001. You know the vacation pictures that take of you while you're on a roller coaster or something. Yeah. It's been hanging on my parents' fridge for the last two months now. And they haven't they they didn't say anything. I, I don't know if it's I don't know if they haven't realized or if they just don't bother Did you asking. Put it for, there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they either don't realize or they just don't bother asking anymore. That's hilarious. <laughs> See, now I would have noticed that right away and I'd have been like, what what the what? But that's me. Okay, quickly. This is 
quite a few of them. I don't know how many. Skippers. Old skippers cups. Do you guys have skippers in your neck of the woods? Skippers uh, seafood and chowder house? No. Did you steal that? No, these were in my aunt's garage. Who's paid somebody to have 32 people in my cat? Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever quite had. Tommy, how many of your profiles are you on right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. I appreciate it. And I got these. This is, I don't think I want to open them because it's the whole package, but I'm probably just going to sell a few at a time, so I'll open it. A whole package of... I probably sell the whole pack. I don't know. I haven't decided. I have to look them up. Pan Am swizzle sticks and used. Is that the airplane or the air? Yep. That's an air. It's a, was an air. It was Service. like Delta or Southwest or Pan Am was an, an airline. Wait for it. This is an old one. This is, this was my grandfather's. See how old it is? It has that on the bottom of it. It's the Aunt Jemima. Um, I'm not selling this one. Well, you can't sell it in the first place. Anyway, she's got two more, another one with a lid on it, but see how it has that mark there? And... This was my grandfather's too. It's all marked. It's all wrapped in Sunday, May 19th, 1974, San Jose Mercury News. Oh my God. For once a year sale, just once a year, buy three pairs and save on Pagello by Vanity Fair. Underwear man. Underwear ad sales, Liberty House. Are you even paying any attention to me? Yeah, I'm looking at my screen. Oh, it's cause it's cause those cameras not my camera and my screen are different. Oh. This was all out of my grandmother's or my aunt aunt's uh this is my grandfather's stuff and I just got this one because it's cool and I have a very small bottle collection. This will go next to the one that Harry gave me. I don't know what it had in it, but it was 47 cents. It doesn't, it has markings, but I mean, it's just kind of a cool jar. It might have had vinegar in it, as a matter of fact. It's kind of what it looks like. Oh, Noel, how we all remember school crafting the aunt. I never did school crafting with Aunt Jemima. I just sold some whitey tidies. Did you? Woo -woo. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even get a chance to wear them yet. Dang it! <laughs> oh, I gotta find those jock straps and send them to Tommy so he can break them in and then list them and sell them. <laughs> this is a thing that Pyrex has these dish covers so that you can take your stuff with you, and it and it's like a cloth thing with a zipper on it, and then it's got a little pocket in it that this goes in. And my aunt gave me this. So I will try to sell this. It's um, hot pack. You microwave it and you stick it in there and it's supposed to keep your food warm. Hmm. I know. Isn't that cool, Gina? I'll show it again because it is cool. It's right here. Actually, that's one of my favorite dressings is Italian dressing and to make it and to make it myself. So. She told me I could have it if I didn't sell it. And I told her I won't sell it. I'll keep it. I thought Lisa was in the same state as you. She's not. Lisa is in Canton, Ohio. Oh. All right, you guys. I have. Years ago, Shell in Texaco. Now, I shouldn't say years ago. They. When they started giving, they would do giveaways, like BP gave away the little cars for years, right? And Texaco would give away, and they didn't really give them away, but the stuff I'm going to show you, they gave away. 
uh, Mexico would have the uh, planes and they had the uh, Clydesdales with the different ways that they hauled fuel and the old trucks and stuff like that. Um, but you could buy them for like nine ninety nine if you filled up your tank of gas is usually how you, what, what you paid for them. And then they had a set of planes, blah, blah, blah. You guys have all seen them. Some of them are worth money at different times. Right now, none of them are worth anything. Um, they really aren't. Uh, my friend whose mom died, her brother had a bunch of them, and he was telling me how much he paid for them, and I, we were looking them up to see if they were still worth anything, and he just, I thought he was going to cry when we looked up the comps. He bought them off of eBay years ago and paid a lot of money. Mm. Um, anyway, I said, I said, I think that the best thing that, that, that you can do with those is just to put them away somewhere. They'll come back like everything does. Looked up and saw drawings of a potato with a face drawn on it. <laughs> what did you look up? Public public use jock straps, tidy whities Yep, all reasons why the chat is popping. <laughs> public. <laughs> okay, so my I got a whole. My aunt's uncle <laughs> used to own a shell station. Okay, so. That would have been in the 50s and the 60s that he owned the shell station. And they gave away mugs. I have a bunch of them somewhere else already, but they look like this. If you guys ever see a mug that looks like this with nothing on the bottom of it, guaranteed, you will find them every once in a great while. These are all brand new. They've never been used. They're leftovers. And I have quite a few more. And they actually... When I finally looked them up, they were going, it's been a while, um, but now that I have these, but there is, let's see if I can find it. So I don't know how many are in here. I stopped counting, but there was some other ones that were Texaco that I had never seen. She better have not taken that one out. I'm going to be mad. She kept that one. Oh, no. Oh, my God, you guys. This is freaking awesome. Okay, you know how I like restaurant wear? This is... I don't know if we can read it. Hang on. I'm going to have to put this light down so I can see. Bet Bettles. P-E-L-T-A-S. Old Fashioned Mug Root Beer. And this was given away by Texaco USA. So that's what it says. Whatever that company is, old fashioned mug root beer. That sucker is cool. Huh. Oh, we had a creepy crawly machine. We had the one that you could actually put stuff. My brothers had it, I should say. <clears throat> that thing was cool. That And that would have been the original one because I graduated in 85. I have a brother that's younger than me, graduated 87. Gus graduated 83, graduated 81, and my sister graduated 79. <laughs> All from the same high school. Anyway, I think that's the only one of the root beer ones. And... um. I might be keeping this one. I don't know. I love these things. It will be it will be dependent on how much it sells for. Is Lynn in here? I don't think so. Lynn, she is. Perlini. Lynn is in here. Oh. She out, oh, Perlini. She, she came out of hiding. I used to call her Perlini. Perl Perlini, and the and the and and it would never stop. And then I don't know how many of these I had, but you guys know what these were. They had cheese whiz in them, the original cheese whiz. Yeah. They would come with a metal top on them and you would get, or it would have cheese with pimentos in them. You got yours in 1960 something, 67, 68. Yeah, that sounds about right. You collect restaurant wear also. One of my favorites is I have the Sam. Oh, I have, oh, I love those. I have a bunch of restaurant wear that I, I, I just, I got it such a good deal on it. It's actually from 
a guy who used to own 10 restaurants, but I got the cool pieces. But I love, um, hang on a second. I want to I want to find some vintage McDonald's stuff. You want to find some what? See these restaurant wear pieces? Uh, like the chandeliers from McDonald's. Oh yeah. I, I don't know. I just think they're cool. Remember when I put? Did you see what I posted on my story a couple weeks back? All that vintage McDonald's I stuff. Think, yes. Carol Ann, see these. These are, I've already, these are, I had two black ones and two brown ones and one, no, two brown ones, two cream colored ones and one black one. I sold both the cream colored ones and this is all I have left, 109 bucks each. These were in Stranger Things, this actual style and all, all the colors. You just got one in yesterday. You paid 124. We'll sell for 600 after keeping all the pieces my daughters don't have. Uh, Peppa Pig, Tommy, is that what you're talking about? They're. I think they're talking about a specific uh, character from the Peppa Pig stuff. That goes for a lot. I'm going to insta you a picture of the tiny. Okay, absolutely do that. Um, who else? Did I miss anybody else? I'm sorry if I did. They do kind of look like IHOP. But they're um, a little taller than what IHOP says. These are actually pretty good size. There's my hand for reference if that helps any. Anyway, but I have eight of the mugs. This brand is, they were really hard to read. Um, I should know it. I can't. Chesapeake. I sold this little custard glass for 46 bucks today. It's tiny. It's just a creamer. It is a, a souvenir piece. How much did you sell it for? 46 bucks. It glows. You should see... <laughs> There's a picture on Instagram. You probably didn't even pay pay nothing for it, right? Right around, I think I paid two dollars, but it, I actually think I paid less than that. Um, but I put two dollars in there because it's it was right around that price. Yeah. And that I paid pretty darn close. Okay. All right. What else did you? Oh, all your other stuff is is still uh there. Yeah. There. Oh, that sucks. Um, but yeah, but the best things I got were the. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll probably end up throwing half of this stuff on the, on the medical pallet away just because it's, won't be something I want to mess with. Even if it was worth a little bit, it'll, uh, half of it was stuff that's too big to, too Anybody big to go on sale. A Kenwood CD changer, 10 disc. This was in my aunt's garage and she has no clue where it came from. Heavier than shit. Stuffer is definitely a weirdo dog, weirdo doing weird things to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't. They don't give anything. Hey, um, by the way, I was trying Me? to think. I think it's Drifters, Drifter Thrifters. They've had a post on Instagram, and they're um, listing for, it was a set of McDonald's fantasy glasses. The glasses glasses was taken down because something used in those glasses is poisonous, and they were recalled by the FDA. Hmm. So... If you guys follow them, um, go check that out because if you have any of those glasses and there's were the Shrek ones. Oh yeah. <clears throat> she said she didn't know if it was for all the glasses that were like that, but they're kind of the square type glasses, you know, like you would see the McDonald's ones that they had. 
anyway, so just thought I'd point that out in case anybody didn't see that and you have those glasses up, you might want to go check that out and take them down before you get them taken down. They're not going to... Um, Sorry. Huh? Do those even sell for that much anyway? How much do those... Uh, I don't know that she just showed the picture. She didn't show her whole listing. <clears throat> if you have the whole set, she had the whole set. You know, a lot of those things you don't, you are going to get more for them. If you sell the whole set, just like those mm -hmm. vase thingies that you have, you'll yeah. get more for them. If you just, you could probably get your $88 that you spent on the whole thing. <laughs> Out of those, if you just bundled the whole thing up together and sold the whole thing, mm -hmm. you made it. I saw that. I saw that was, but but you got a good deal, Jen. Like I, I think you got a good deal. I think because of the crimson red dye. I like my radioactive red childhood fiesta handled oatmeal bowl I use daily as a child. <laughs> Yeah, the square glasses. So I think, I don't know if it's something inside the glass itself or if it's on the label that what they printed, you know, the screen printing that they put on the labels. I don't know what it is, but just thought I'd pass that along. I got a whole box of, I'm not going to show them to you because most of them are symphony and that kind of stuff, but um my grandfather gave me his record player stereo it's a it's an eight track cassette record player um and the speakers for my birthday three years ago and i just we just got him out of his office here not too long ago like i said he's been gone for a year now um tried throwing those Shrek, Shrek glasses away 10 years ago when they first recalled them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now we know what's wrong with you. <laughs> We've That's never hilarious. taken out of They've always just stayed on the top shelf in the back, but I'm sure they've spewed some poisons onto the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Probably not. Did you have them? Yeah. They're, they're, uh, I can see where they are right now in my in the kitchen. Uh, we, they still have them. <coughs> There's four of them, I think. <coughs> well, <laughs> they really don't even go for that much on e on eBay. Probably not. Shrek's not enough, not to, not enough to risk it for sure. Miss Murphy, blow my phone up. <laughs> Let's see what she's got here. Oh, that is cool. Western Sizzlin Steakhouse Restaurant Ware. Homer Laughlin. Yeah, baby. That's the that's the that's the king of the restaurant ware right there. Excuse you for farting. Sorry. Just teasing. And look at, she even put a battery there for size reference. Oh, now he's gone. That That's really, did you just get, that's, that's like the size of a, um, like you'd put a, a, a roll in it, Miss Murphy. That's what I think. But sometimes I think too much too. Um, that's really cute. Did you find that in your um, in your roadside things? Bottle of Quicksilver is still at my mom's. Here. Hi, Bear Bear. What's up? Just making sure everything's okay. Funny looking, but thank you. <laughs> you got to have fun when you're doing stuff like this. You know what I mean? Salvation Army for... What? What to the what? I bet Greg went went to see if he could find those radioactive glasses. Everybody buys this uh, glowy glass, as some people like to call it. And they use it. And I'm just like...
cadmium cadmium red paint is toxic that's right things with crimson red is toxic too that's right skittles are the worst candy to give to your kid because of the dyes that they use in them I guess Dren might get some of his facial expressions from me. Oh, anyway. Um, so let's 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 get another. Oh, I got a new bug zapper. That's for me. I'm not gonna show that. We all know what bug zappers look like. Um, this was my grandfather's. It is dusty. It has literally been in a box and packed up. Since he moved in with them, they didn't take it. It has the original uh, cloth cord, and I just need to take it in. And it's, it's it's amazing to me. It looks like it's got one broken piece right there. I don't think that is going to stop me from selling it at all because the metal is in great condition. And let's see what brand it is. It is... Greg back yet? No. Seriously? Well, oh, it said right there on that stupid thing. General Mills. It's missing part of it right there. That's why. Anyway, these things are pretty good. You're going to have to come back on the laptop. Okay, I'm, okay, that's fine. I'm watching for you. Got a bunch of Jaffra. I don't know that I want to do anything with this because I don't know how old it is. It's all new. Um, Jaffra, apparently that my aunt knew somebody that sold Jaffra. They got this when her mom was alive. She's been dead for quite some time. But like, um, I don't know. It's all it's all brand new. It's not been used. I have a whole box of Jaffra. What do you guys know? Who knows what about Jaffra? Ooh, Graham. Who's got cheesecake? <laughs> I got home and barbecued hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken. You just think of all the issues people have today. For, oh, no joke. Um, people will buy the Jaffra. Okay. I have this thing. This is like a another container that the pieces go in. Thanks, Jody. I knew somebody would know. Um, do they make it anymore? Do you know, Jody? Do they still make it? This is the little... It's like it said something about sample for testers, not for resale, but I have all of the testers. I have bags, more bags. Like the gal quit selling it, so she just gave them this. I actually have the old paper bags. Here's all the little testers. There's a pencil, big wow. Um, this there's all this one i don't this one's not gonna go that's gonna get thrown away um so i mean like i have to go through some of these because these were like her kit i don't know but there's all of this this kind of stuff moisture replenishment treatment there's the sample perf perfumes I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Like that one's full. These are full. So, yeah. That's going to be a... This stuff can't sit for too long. It's already sat for too long as far as I'm concerned. So, oh, uh, scared me. I think it was a Jaff Jaffra, a home. Was that a home? like Mary Kay kind of thing. Okay, thanks, Mike, for stopping in. Hopefully you get your package tomorrow.
no Greg yet. Jaffra, Shackley. Oh my God, we used to do Shackley. Mary Kay, there are buyers for all of it. Shackley is definitely okay. We have a new addition to our, our group here. Everybody, everybody meet Mike, Michael Hunt. <laughs> I don't go by Michael. Oh, excuse me. It's funny because um, I called Cameron Cam one time. Yeah. And I thought he was going to lose his mind. Yeah, it's he likes his full name. Yes, he does. And that and that's fine. I have no I mean you don't know until somebody tells you, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so let's use that as an example right now and please don't ever call me Michael again. Please say my full name correctly. <laughs> um point of privilege, personal privilege. Um, <laughs> yeah. it takes more syllables. And so I might just call you Mikey. My name is Mike Hunt. I think you need to go into one of the quiet rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so, you guys are going to die. My <laughs> grandfather and my aunt, um, I've never, I never met my aunt's mother. So, I, I guess I just, she, they both worked for Lockheed Martin. You guys are familiar with Lockheed Martin? Yes? No? no? Maybe so. They sell all the missiles and stuff overseas. Lockheed they Martin. Sell to, they sell them to the people overseas? They, they, they build them. They sell them. Lockheed Martin. Come on. Check this fan out. This was my grandmother. My, my grandmother. I'm just going to call her that. This was her fan that sat in her office when she worked at Lockheed Martin. And it has the original box. It's frigid. <laughs> Um, let's go, man. This thing is so freaking cool. I can't believe that I got it. Anyway, check that puppy out. And it is in fine condition. Too bad the manual's not in here, but like I said, I have the original box that it came in. Which, how often does that, that's how they were. They, they saved all of that stuff. Look. Here, this is better. Porta fan, multi-purpose safety guard. Fridge. <laughs> that's just hilarious. You, hey, Noelle. Yeah. Yesterday at the auction, I, I can't remember the brand, but it was, uh, it was, I think it was just called a hideaway desk. And I'd never seen one before, but it was basically just a, uh, it was maybe like two, two or three inches thick, and you mounted it on the wall, and then it came down like a hideaway bed and turned into a desk. It was really—I've just yeah. never seen one before. Did it? Did it come down from the wall, or did it um, pull up and then it had a leg that folded in behind it? Yeah. So it, one part was mounted on the wall, like 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 a book basically, and then it folded up, and then this part would stay on the wall, and this one would just fall down and would catch on a leg. Yeah, those are really cool. It ended up going for 30, but so I let it go. Wow. I want one of those pneumatic standing sitting desks. They have them at they have them at Costco. They have them everywhere actually, but some they can get pricey. They're very pricey. But you know, you know what I, might be sorry, what might be better ahead. is if you just get a uh a, fuck now I can't think of the name. A Perry desk or a, what's it someone in here knows. A Perry desk or a the kind that just uh it like sits on your desk and you can make it stand up with your stuff on it. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Uh, yeah. Perry, I want to say Perry, but um th this one that they have at Costco and then I saw one somewhere else. They're going to be uh, they're going to be selling them all over the place here soon. All the people that bought them to have at home that aren't going to be working at home anymore, they're going to be getting rid of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, a Perry desk, V A R I desk very yes but i want one and then i want to build because what they basically are is they sit on a regular desktop and they go up and down so mm -hmm. you can stand 
but they're not a whole desk itself, right? It's like a piece. Correct. Um, because they have them at at um in the middle school, the secretaries have them. Okay. And then you can actually they actually have a treadmill that they that you can put them on, and you can walk on the treadmill while while with with the desk. It's pretty cool. Hey, did I tell you about all those chairs that I was looking at that I was wanting to get from the online auction? Uh oh, what kind of chairs? So they were they were liquidating an office space, and they had fifty two uh, Herman Miller office chairs. If anybody wants to look up the comps what? on them, Herman Miller office chairs. No, I'm like, what? I know, I know, I know about Herman Miller. Wow, wow, wow. How and so when I, so when I looked at the auction when it was four days from ending, they were all at somewhere at 10 and then the deeper you went into the auction like the deep more pages back you went they were going for five and then zero and so i i got myself up really excited thinking that I, I had a chance of scoring them for five bucks a piece 52 of them but they ended up uh, on the last day they ended up going for 160 100 up into the 200s a piece yeah which which yeah. honestly could i mean it wouldn't be still, would still it be cheap, the smart but... yeah you could have still made money at 200, but it, it's, it's three and a half hours away and I would have had to get a truck to, so. And plus 200 times freaking 52 would have been crazy, but. Yeah, I would not have been able to loan you that much. Sorry, but. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, did I, I, who did I miss come in? I missed Carol, Butterfly, Hustles, and Needful Things. Are you, oh, that's, that's Lissa. Wow, I need help. Um. <laughs> I've said that I don't know how many times today. All right, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Hi, Carol. You guys go watch Carol's video and then go vote for her. And jo and um, also Jody did Jody Toyak. Jody did the did it too. So go watch their videos. Hashtag five and five and fifteen fifteen. Why don't Something you like girl that. put that in there? <laughs> but um. Real quick, just on that one last thing. If you guys don't know Herman Miller, just look up pictures of it so you do know it. it even if you don't want to ship something that big, it'd be worth even paying UPS to ship it if you could get it at a good price. I would. They, put, some of them are $1,200 chairs. I would have you ship ship it. <laughs> I'd gladly ship them. If I had them. Have you ship ship it. They'll just come to your house and pick it up. How much is that? Uh, however much that they'll tell you, you bid for it. Cat has some videos on it. Go. Oh, um, I do remember that. Um, because that's how she was shipping. Um, there's a guy in uh, Courtney Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but when I do, I'll message it to you, or maybe I'll put it in the description. Actually, he does. You You've told it to me a, once before, too, actually. Yeah, he does a lot of Ethan Allen furniture and stuff like that. So you ship as a shipping company. They will come to your house. They will pick it up. They will wrap it in blankets, and then they deliver it to wherever it's going. And they will give you an idea of how much it weighs based on what it is. They, they probably already have a good idea. And then, then, they'll, then they'll tell you what it's going to cost and certain different different people that do it because will bid on it lots of times and then eventually i think like because i think i could be wrong it happens that cat when she does it has i haven't seen what 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 she i haven't seen for a long time what she does um but for a while there she was getting the same guy the same, you know, the same guy from Uship was bidding on her jobs, and or she was just calling him because he was in her area. And she, when she, when he came and picked up her first piece that she'd sold, she talked to him and got his number. So, oh, cool. You know, it's a good it's a good thing to get into. And then if you if you do that, you know, Uship is the way to do it, and the customer pays. You yeah, know, okay. so. You want to make is it, it would be just like um, the best way to see how they do it in the shipping is to just go on and find a piece of large large piece of furniture, Duncan Fife, Fife, Ethan Allen, something, and mm -hmm. then 
look what they do for their shipping and how they put it in there. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause, yeah. Um, but that's what a lot of people use for larger stuff like that. And so really, I didn't realize that's really cool that she was able to get that guy's name and kind of avoid all the avoid going yeah. through the. Well, I mean, it's still you ships. She's still paying and stuff like that, but she can, she can just contact. I don't, don't quote oh. me on all of this, you guys. Don't quote me on all this, but she would just be able to get a hold of him and then he would bill her whatever through you ship. Does that make sense? Okay. But that, but she, when she, the first video that she did on that and he came out and she talked to him and asked him lots of questions. And then I think she said something later on that she had gotten his card so that she could just get a hold of him if she had okay. something else that was going the, the way that he, because she, yeah. I think she said, if I remember correctly, that he shipped um, all on the East Coast. He was up and down the East Coast frequently. Is that, so. Noel, do you remember the show on, if Tommy's still here, I know he does, but the show, I think it was A&E, and they would all bid on how, who who would get, they would all bid against each other, all the drivers, and see who gets to deliver the, the random load of 500 Christmas trees, or just like, oh, yeah. somebody yeah, remembers remember the name of it. I don't Cherish know if it was actually you ship or not, but Cherish does some some of that stuff, but Cherish actually contracts all of that stuff for you too. I got this random box of stuff, and it's not really a random box of stuff. I know Shipping. what's in here. Um, my grandfather um, prepared in his in his off time. There's pieces of. It's got all of these military tins, okay? Number one, there's a bunch of these. And each one of these has different stuff in it. But he repaired TVs and, and tube radios. And I have all of his, <laughs> all of his stuff to do that. This is like... A retractor. This is this is a piece of something. There, here's the other piece. Like these little things go to something. I will list them. There, I'll figure out what they are. But this is all, and there's a shit ton of them. Shoot ton. This one, this one actually has the paperwork inside it. So there you have it. Let's see what it says. Anyway, like I said, please read these additional instructions prior to installing retractor on belt. After removing steel roller and before inserting webbing into slotted shaft, wind knob in direction of arrow. That's pretty interesting. I'm sure it won't be hard to fit. You know what? It looks like. It's a seatbelt, like this piece up here. Oh. And this kind of stuff, this is a foot that goes on the bottom of a wooden dresser. The wooden. Bye, Miss Murphy. Bye, Miss Murphy. Have a great night. And have a wonderful week. So anyway, some of this stuff will sell. Some of it will go to uh, probably Marie and Justin will take it because they do flea markets and stuff. So um, this is perfect. You know what I mean? And then whatever they don't want to sell, they'll just get they'll just get rid of it. Anyway, is that? Do you, would you, why, do you have no interest in going to the flea market and like taking your own bunch of stuff or why don't you do it? Absolutely not. Yeah. I don't even have time. I, I don't have time for that. I have two grandkids. And I, I don't know how flea markets are set up other places, but ours is, ours I feel like is just a bunch of junk and. I've never even been to a flea market. 
People love really, them. Those vendors do. go and set up at I, four o'clock in the love, morning. I would love to go check a couple of them out. Okay, I showed these on my Wednesday night linens. When we when Lisa and I did linens, I showed these. These are those rattan. Um these ones are made in a foreign country, China. Okay. Uh, so I got four of them. This one's totally different. These three go together. I'll probably sell this one separately and these three as the set. This is really cool. Stylus weight gauge. Reduce record wear. Check weight reading recommended. Um, GE Electronics. I don't think it's ever been used. The hell's my... Okay. Oh, see I that? see. Yeah. See how it goes on the record like that? Well, however long ago this was made, I don't know if there's a date down there anywhere i don't see one uh -uh. audio text well they paid four dollars and eight cents for it 12 million years ago i paid a dollar for it it was made in the usa it's really cool keep your temper no one else wants it Why be unpleasant when with just a little effort you can be a real stinker? I need to send this to Tommy. Tommy, are you still in here? You really got to send me your address. I got to send you some jock straps, and I need to send you that. <laughs> these were, um, these are vintage postcards, comic card. And I, yes, I paid 75 cents a piece for them because those are hilarious. I'm not sure what this cost. I had to go to the bathroom really bad. It's Young Frankenstein. It's Mel Brooks. I absolutely, and it's got, who is that? Do you guys know who that is right there? Holly Shore. Really? Maybe. Gene Wilder. Willy Wonka. This has to be worse. Gene Wilder, yes. The guy at the sale was a real jerk. He just thought. <laughs> I shouldn't say it was a real jerk. He thought he had everything priced, that he knew everything. He's the one that I got this from. He looked at it. He added some really nice glass, and he knew well, a lot of it was because it had labels, still had the stickers on them. So he looked them up, and he priced them higher than what they were on ebay so when i asked him he goes like this five dollars i go okay told me he had these books inside that were worth a lot of money that he, he would uh consider an offer on them and he shows them to me and i go what makes you think these are worth a lot of money? And he goes, because um, they're, that one's from 1968 and it's the original first printing. And I said, no, it's not. It was copyright 1968, but this one was printed in 2004. It says that right here. <laughs> not the original one. And he goes, well, that one right there is selling. And I said, no, it's not. I'm sorry. Anyway, but I got this science for here and now Dick and Jane book. Um, these sell, the Dick and Jane books sell for a lot. Oh, I happily paid $1 for it. I should be able to get 50 to 60 bucks for this. 1965. It is a textbook. It has no writing in it. Um, yep. I have sold a lot of these California State Series. This one is published by the California State Department of Education, Sacramento, 1959, copyright 1959, but it was the first copyright was 1955. So 
This is the second printing, basically, or the second copyright of this book. And it is in excellent, unused, basically, condition. That's easy money right there. Dick and Jane, anything, you guys? Any of the early readers from Dick and Jane? Really? Um, apparently, no. apparently, we've got some colored pencils, too. That must have been Emily. <laughs> It's all about colored pencils. And then I got these two vintage pens oil oil filters for a buck a piece. There's another one over here. They were bought. Did you guys have G.I. Joe's? G.I. Joe's has been out of business forever. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten canceled yet. Who? Or is he? G.I. Joe? I don't think it's been around. Okay, so this guy thought he was smarter than the average bear. They had a box of utensils. I said, how much are the utensils? He said, a buck a piece. This is Bakelite. Got him. He thought he was going to play you, huh? Nope. So he got a dollar for his Bakelite. Bakelite. <laughs> Not bastard. That's why it pays to shop in many different genres and just to know a little enough about things. Watch a bunch of different people that sell different things or listen at least. And when you hear something interesting, stop what you're doing and look, you know. And that's what's super cool about everybody in our community because, oh, I got one more thing to show you there that I thought was really I've never seen I've never seen them before which means as we know absolutely nothing <laughs> they are called MSA I need some light safety equipment headquarters paper cups mine safety appliances company Pittsburgh Pennsylvania this is a portable paper cup to drink water out of. Uh. Don't know how long it lasts. They lasted for. And there was 10 in here originally. And I think there's just, I don't know. I don't care. It's really super cool. The box isn't in the greatest condition. And I'm not going to attempt to fix it. Somebody will get this. This was probably in a first aid kit. It was probably one of those little packets that came in a first aid kit. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Because that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. It contains lead. Ah! <laughs> My mom uses her angel food cake cutter as a comb. <laughs> that's hilarious, Jody. I think I could tolerate selling at a flea market as long. Um, maybe if it was like once every six months or something like that. But the packing up and the unpacking and putting away... It's like going to buy groceries. <laughs> you put all the shit in your shopping cart. Then you go and you put it all on the belt. And then they put it in bags. And you put it back in the shopping cart. And then you put it in your car. Then you take it from your car. And you put it in the house. And you put it all away. And then the little monsters that live with you take it out. They eat it all. And you have to do the damn thing all over again. <laughs> Look, Noelle, I just sold these for one fifteen. What'd you sell? These Tony Llamas. Nice. I got a couple. I need I I I need to probably hire somebody to help me. I, I probably do. I need yeah. to just probably break down and hire somebody to help me. <sighs> Aluminum collapse. Well, there was one of those today at the same place that I got the aluminum percolator at. I think that I have a whole box of ephemera. I'm not going to even go there. Um, and mostly because I'm tired. What time is it? Midnight almost. Yeah. Um, that's not too bad, though. I mean, huh. I can. I'll show you a couple things. Just a couple things. Oh, no. 
What'd you do? Oh, there's. Oh, I know where it is. Never mind. Okay, I do want to show you one thing in this box specifically. Specifically. Pacific. Of course, it's under everything. You guys are all most. Okay, most people my age will know what this is. Don't is there anyone here from the 30s? <laughs> You're so in trouble. <laughs> Smart ass. Oh, come on. Seriously? I have to be careful because I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Somebody out there. Somebody out there knows what this is. No. That's the year before I graduated. Our beloved President Ronald Reagan put a grain embargo on Russia. Russia put an embargo on all dairy products for the United States. Thus, we had a significant surplus of dairy products. Uh. They charged the dairy farmers a shit ton of money for every hundred weight of dairy that they produced. Why won't this let me remove it? I don't know. I know why. Um, and so a lot of the dairy farmers had to get more cows and milk more cows to make up for the fines they were having to pay because they were producing dairy, which they had always produced. But now it was too much because our illicit leader fucked up. Then on top of that, because they couldn't get out of it, he just, he did the dairy buyout, which what he did was they any of the dairy farmers that went into it, they basically bought all the dairy cows from them for a specific price. All those cows were slaughtered, every single one of them. And then you couldn't have dairy animals on your property for, I think it was 15 years. Really? So my dad wouldn't do that because all of our cows were registered. They had, they had history and they had lines. Anyway, this was what you would get from the government would give you this package of cheese every was it once a month, once a week? I don't know. It was it was government cheese. So is that just the box or is there cheese in there? No, this is just the box. Oh. I bet you the cheese would look just like it did in the, did thirty years ago. It was, it's like Velveeta cheese. It was like a little bit yeah. thicker, so it was the American cheese, but it was a big brick like Velveeta and then scope this out. When you go to Hickory Farms and get your your uh, meat and cheese. <laughs> the stuff that people keep. But this is beyond me and age-wise. I don't know. But that's hilarious. You never knew that, Noel. Well, I was raised on a dairy farm. I live in the house I grew up on the, on the farm that I lived on. That's why I know about the dairy stuff. Why can you use... Are you guys still talking about my uh, <laughs> Baker Light Angel Food Cake? You guys are cracking me up. L Lissa said she remembers the government cheese in a wooden box. No, that was that was a different kind of cheese box. That I know which one she's talking about, but that wasn't government cheese. You'll see every once in a while, you'll see Kevin pick one up um, and... I'm trying to think who else you watch that I know. Um, do you watch uh, George the Antique Nomad? You're asking me? Yeah. I, I, I know who he is, but I don't watch him. Well, every once in a while you'll see so you'll see them. But um, somebody I, I'm trying to think. A lot of people like to get those and use them to put cassette tapes in. I know Kevin's gotten one or two of them, and I'm not talking about the other, the different kind of racks, that, the wooden ones he gets, but um, 
I'm trying to think who the heck is it used to get a lot of them. You're talking about Kevin from Miss Kitty and Commonwealth Picker. Sorry, oh, okay. Commonwealth Picker. Oh, oh no, yeah. Kevin, Kevin and Miss Kitty, they're busy. They're busy doing mushrooms and or not doing them, but <laughs> hunting morale mushrooms. That did not sound good. <laughs> um, and that kind of stuff right now. After you just got back from the grocery store after 10, you even have to check out all the grocery. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Man, oh. you have to go shopping late at night, Carol. What, what? How hot was it there today? 119, something like that? Awesome. It's miserable. Let me keep what eBay forces me to keep because it's not selling. <laughs> oh, you guys are cracking me up. Anyway, cheese, there was an American. I think it was an American, but yes, cheese. It came. You know how you see the wooden boxes that have like the fruit boxes and the, um, oh, military ammo boxes and whatever, mm -hmm. but the crates. Well, they made smaller ones that were a little bit smaller than that box I was, that paper box, that cardboard box I was holding. And they were cheese. And they were, but that was, I don't believe that was government. I could be wrong. So if it wasn't in a wooden box, did that, did that make it fancy? Or why would they use wood instead of just a regular box? Because they didn't have cardboard back then. So the wood was cheaper then? Or they didn't have cardboard. the ability to make pre-cardboard oh. as in there was no cardboard then how'd they make car how they figure out that yes craft sold cheese in wooden boxes hmm. thank you what's a hundred oh a hundred it was 110 where you are Alyssa? that's miserable no oh, I 113 barstow oh my god i don't know what it was here today but I have no thyroid and I'm always cold. You guys always see me in a sweatshirt. Always see me in a sweatshirt. T-shirt, t-shirt all day long. When I was, when I was uh, chainsawing because I was cutting a couple of trees up. <laughs> I should have videotaped that. Nobody ever believes me. <laughs> it was so fucking hot. Well, this tree had the audacity to fall on one of my blueberry bushes over there. And that's just, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so I took both chainsaws over because there was like seven or eight trees that fell over the winter. And Justin hasn't gotten over there. I, he likes to do that. And it's not that I can't because obviously I can. And it just makes it it makes it more difficult for me to mow because I have to go around them when I could have a straight shot. And I was just like, fuck this shit. I am not. Uh, already the grass is knee high. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you saw my pictures. And it's just <clears> like because I was six weeks behind. I'm mowing over there. And yeah, that it that's what happens. What? Are you on water restrictions? No, we have our own well. We've never been on water restrictions. I wouldn't even know what to do with that. We're out of gas here in all of Southern Colorado. Are you serious? Yeah, not because there's an actual gas shortage, but because there's a driver short shortage. And right. we can't get it here. And so they say that's going to, we should have it by Tuesday. We haven't had any since Saturday. Um, but they say that's going to start happening with a bunch of different things. Yeah, hmm. sure. Wow. It's a conspiracy. It's harder for you guys that are in the inside states because all of the refineries are, well, Montana has a bunch of big refineries, so that's a lie. Because I used to work on it. I used to do welding inspection and radiography and ultrasound and all of that. We used to do all of the, that kind of stuff. I was in charge of all the welders the in-house welders and our welders that got brought in. But there was only at Conoco six at, at the Conoco um, 66 in Billings, Montana. Our company was basically the NDT company, non-destructive testing. And we were responsible for making sure that everything that needed to get done, got done to code and all of that. And so, um, and then I had the widest range of, 
um, I wasn't, I was a level two, level three and level, level threes and level, I was almost a level three in some, in a couple of things, a few more hours than I would have been, but I ended up coming back and then that's when I found out I had cancer, so I didn't go back, but, so I did radiography, ultrasound, magnetic particle, um, liquid penetrant, uh, visual inspection, and all of that welding inspection. So there was seven welders that actually worked, that were actually employed by Conoco 66. And I was in responsible for making sure that anything they did got inspected. Plus all the stuff that we did out in the plant. Um, and then there was two more refineries near, I think there, there was another one, it wasn't in Billings. You're on a well, how often have you had to, we've never, I've lived here for 54 years, we've only drilled a well once. Just wondering, they keep saying, well, I'm not in California. I'm in, I'm in Southwest Washington. California and a lot of places are running out of water because Nestle thinks that they should own the rights to the water and sell it to you guys, us guys. I don't know if you guys know that. And if you don't, you should educate yourself on Nestle. And I, and when I say Nestle, I mean Nestle as Nestle chocolate, Nestle water, Nestle everything. You guys should pay attention to them because they have been ran out of a couple of cities here in uh, Washington and Oregon trying to buy the rights to water to bottle it and taking away rights of uh, cities and stuff like that. Go check it out. You'll learn something. Lint is probably the most SEO friendly word. <laughs> If you live close enough to a dairy, I live on a dairy. We we don't have cows anymore. My sister still has cows. I get all of the meat I want. My brother raises beef cows still. My brother and one of the guys that rents here. Yep. You can get it all. You can just have a whole cow butchered and whatever. There's been a lot of people advertising on Facebook, like uh, telling, explaining to, to people how cheap, how much better it is just to buy the cow from them and take it to get but butchered rather than, and stocking up your freezer rather than going to Walmart. Oh, it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. It is. And and you don't necessarily buy the cow from them and have it butchered. You, the, They come out and butcher it wherever the cow is. And then they take it back and they cut it and wrap it and weigh it and do whatever. And you pay for the, pay for the kill, cut the wrap to the, to the butcher usually, cause they usually do all of that. I have several good friends that I grew up with that own different shops. And, um, then you would pay, you would pay the, whoever raised it. Um, when the cow's butchered, then they'll tell them how much it weighed, and then you pay by the pound how much, whatever. Okay. You know, so, yeah, it is. Plus, if you know that people, if you follow them, and you know, because a lot of people that do that, they they are grass-fed and blah, blah, blah. And that's the way to get it. You can't, the only store-bought meat that I will buy is from Costco, usually. Costco or um, uh, Fred Meyer's. That's pretty much it, which is Kroger. Okay. I don't buy any meat at Walmart. Um, I don't buy hardly any foster farms items at all. And it's not uh, foster farms. There's a couple of chicken farms here that foster farms. You know, Saudis are coming to California to buy land so they can plant the almond trees. Almond trees use a ton. Anything uses a ton of water. So, I did. Yeah. I did hear that almond trees use a shit ton of water, though. All trees use a shit ton of water. Well, like almonds, double what a regular tree would. Almonds and um, 
olive trees. Really? Yeah. I buy a farm cow every year and then butcher it. Um, yeah, and then uh, and a lot of times, for those of you who live anywhere near a county fair, a lot of times they will have the 4-Hers and the FFA kids, kids will have, they have raised an animal to auction off for beef or for money to help them with their college or whatever. And usually somewhere in your county fair where well, you can call the office of the fair office and find out if they have a 4-H uh, animal auction and they will, there will be pigs and cows and goats and lambs and chickens and geese and turkeys and all of that that you can auction off and then they will go straight to the um butcher okay. and then and they'll get a hold of you when it's ready to be cut and wrapped and so that that's a really good way to get an animal that's been raised very well and usually they're they're like hand raised because the kids take care of them themselves and they're like any anyway so that's a really good way if you guys have a county fair around you I know they didn't have any last year. I don't think they're doing it this year, but that is a very good way. Or just call your county extension office and ask. Uh, um, that's this is probably the best way right now. Call your county extension office and ask to be put in touch with any of the local 4-H groups that raise beef. If you want to support a, a 4-H or FFA, Future Farmers of America kid. Um, but there's... A lot of people were raising animals last year. My sister sells all of the bulls. They don't keep the bulls. So she sells all of the bulls for beef. 4-H um, is pretty big here. I, yeah. I don't know if it's big everywhere, but. Anyway. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. This is it. And then I'm done. It's only it's been three hours. This is from my aunt. Okay, you guys. This is Windows Best of Brett. It, it doesn't matter. It's the Windows book. It is from Volume 7, Number 12, 1996. And it still has the CD in it that was never opened. The Windows Magazine. Probably AOL. Free software. Prodigy internet 20 free hours. That was after AOL. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> you guys pick these up. People buy these old mowers. There are a shit ton of them out there. They my nephew wants one of these. He he's has me looking for one. He's doing some kind of souped up racing and stuff. Um Briggs and Stratton small engine repair. That's that mower right there. I'm going to get some money for this. New Britain, Connecticut, including Newington and Plainsville telephone directory, 1952 to 1953. Look at that. <laughs> I am not. Oh, there's even handwritten notes in here. Dear somebody. Um, these phone numbers were started with letters. I'll show you. Huh. I'm not going to let this go for less than $150. I was so excited about this. I did a little YouTube video earlier today. My grandfather gave me this chainsaw four years ago, and I had looked it up. I found a few YouTube videos on it. These guys buy these old chainsaws, and they do all kinds of stuff to it. But I was like, I wanted the guide. Well, I found one to one similar to it. Anyway, happy, happy, happy dance. Um, all of these little things. Here's a Sears. Not sure what. Uh, windows. 
um, two gallon funnel top sprayer. Here's the owner's manual for a sawtooth spike arrow that you pull behind your lawnmower, garage door opener, Ford Aero Star. They had two of those. I got the Haynes and the Chilton's for that. Actually, used to have this lawnmower. This is this is hilarious. I'm sure many people did. Noel, yesterday they auctioned off a uh, Briggs and Stratton snowblower, and it ended up going for thir thirty-five dollars. What? Oh, you should tell Mike. January Mike. House. Mike. Oh. He wants one so bad. Does he? Yeah. This right here. Somebody went to the library and they printed off the whole fucking book. Could you not? <laughs> Electrical and vacuum troubleshooting manual for 1979 Mustang Capri. Huh. <laughs> and then a 1972 Capri shop manual. This, the mice chewed on it, but I didn't throw it away because Days of Trial and Triumph, a pictorial history of Lockheed, as in Lockheed Martin. See the missiles? See the space stuff? Mm -hmm. This is who they worked for. This is from 1969. Corporate publication, Lockheed Aircraft Corporation, Burbank, California. It's the history and triumph based on the 100 memorable Lockheed Days collection. There's your date. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to take pages out or if I'm just going to sell it like it is with the vermin chew on it because, because that's just... <laughs> Call me crazy! family photograph. I mean, here we go. Here's war footing. That's what they're, that's what they're about. That's cool. You're ready to move out of California. I would move out of California if, if I lived there. I would move Noel those I know. Oh and oh and I got some vintage um oh shit. You guys got to look out for this stuff really. I know I know some people don't like ephemera. I'm sorry but it's so inexpensive and it takes up such a small amount of space. Um I'm going to tell you something. I sold a 1985 Patagonia catalog for almost $100. This is a 1987 REI catalog. Hmm. This is a 1987 Cabela's catalog. Look at this. Look at the dog sleeping with its head up. I mean, really? Anyway, <laughs> I like those robes. Those are sick. Sexy, I'm telling you. That's a slumber moo moo. Apparently. Anyway, just telling you guys this stuff. People like the old vintage, they like to look and laugh just like we just did. <laughs> Anyway, so, all right. I think I'm done. Are you done? No. I thought we were going to go for four hours. No, we can't go for four hours. I'm tired. It's yeah, midnight. I got to, I got to get, I got to get up with the little varmints. I love ephemera too, Jody. I can't help myself. I, I literally can't. You're concerned what they've done in your garage. When I moved here, stuff just got shoved in. The, well, they do everything that they can. 
So a lot of it will be salvageable and you'll have to wash it and a lot of it won't. But most of it I threw away. And let me just tell you, um, it was hard. But I will I will probably list that one and sell it. We'll see. Bye, bye Gina and Perlini and Carol and Carol Ann and Toy Addict and Annie and Reseller Central and... Tommy, maybe, and Lissa, and Danica. Bye. Is Danica still hanging in here? I don't know. I, I think just... she's. Looking. I think she's listening. She's a creeper. She's, lurk. she's lurking. Lurker, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, well, she was up. She was. She said some. She she left at twelve oh five, which was what five minutes ago. All right, you guys. I love you. <laughs> Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning at eight a.m. Best. Uh, that's the last day of school. I may be a little late because I have to run the kids to school. So if I'm late, just hang there. I'll be there. It's the last day of school. But I will see you all Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Central and Standard then, Time. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be better for me. All right, Greg's out. Night, you guys. I love you. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.